What were we talking about again? Ah, the ding-dongs with the weird crystal. You see, when opportunity knocks, it's always tempting to open the door. But one must be careful of what awaits on the other side. And what walks through afterward. The doctor, the bruiser, and a man about town had secured themselves a mysterious treasure. And with it, the attention of many dangerous people. Namely, Susan Coldwell, chairwoman of the Tidior Corporation. But those were worries for the future. For now, they had to rest, regroup, and figure out exactly what they'd gotten their hands on. What's with the long face? We just killed a vault monster. Oh! Did he drop a fully furnished Frogert shop? Or a gun with bullets that seek out Susan Coldwell's brain stem? No? That's why I'm upset! You are back. Judging by your mood and dopamine levels, I have determined that team morale is high. You have earned plus three skateboards. What do the skateboards do again? Yes. Ah. Oh. Friend, next time you'll be the bait. No, I won't. No, you won't. You appear to be injured, Octavia. How? Oh, you know, you fight an all-powerful vault monster, you're gonna have to deal with a few boo-boos. Your word choice implies a possible concussion. No, that's just him. What happened to you all exactly? Tell me the story of how you did not immediately die. We nearly got killed. It was like 80% luck and 10% teamwork that we got out of there at all. An honest response that does not make you seem at all cool. But you respect me for telling the truth, right? Absolutely not. Lie next time. I respect it. You don't count. You don't count. Vault monsters typically drop treasure. Where is your treasure? I, uh... I'm keeping it safe. What are you doing?! Wait, nothing happened to you when you touched it? No, like, visions? No. What? Never mind. This is an unknown, potentially volatile substance, and you're just tossing it around? Listen here, Miss A. Yeah, Anu, calm. Do not tell me to calm down. Call me interested in talking more about this. What I meant to say was, uh... What? We can't run experiments on this thing? And what exactly are you testing by tossing it in the air? Duh. Aerodynamics. I thought you were the scientist. What's the big deal? It's just a rock. Oh my god! What are you doing? Beating your ass to keep away as per usual. Just be careful. We don't know what exposure to it or touching will do. If this thing was dangerous, the vault monster would have used it as a weapon. But it didn't. So we've got nothing to worry about. Oh, yeah. That's broken. Oh, for... I told you to stop! Ah! 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 That feels nice. <laughs> huh. That's weird. I guess I'm made of stronger stuff than I thought. No. No, you aren't. It's the shard. It... It, it healed you just like it healed that creature. So, what does that mean for us? We're gonna be rich! I have to run a lot more tests. We have a magic rock that heals people. We went down into that vault looking for a way to get rich, and this is it! Now you have to calm down. We can't get excited about all this until we fully understand the variables. This little experiment might not even be repeatable. We can't be sure it'll heal every wound every time. Sure we can. Oh. 
talk? What are you doing? Being the man! What? Don't be stupid! That's for sure. <laughs> I also concur. And heal. And heal! This is why I said we needed to run more tests. When will you ever learn to be more careful? It's working. It's working. <laughs> I've learned nothing. Oh, man. The pain went away completely. I got full mobility. Hot damn! Okay, that's great, but now, shoot me. What? Don't! I cannot stress enough how moronic this is. <gasps> Metal! <laughs> this room! Do me again. Do not. Do not, do not, do not, do not. Try this thing. I don't. Uh, come on! It's all kind of <laughs> exhilarating. I'd really prefer not to. Hey, how are you gonna test this thing if you haven't been on the other side of it? Just shoot somebody! It's just all the shouting makes me nervous, and I probably shouldn't have a gun if I'm nervous. Come on, stop being such a stick in the mud and live a little! I. Okay! You're right! This is a serious bastardization of the scientific process, but uh, we're learning, right? Don't be such a stick in the mud, Anu. I guess, for the sake of science. Oh, no! What did you do? You said to shoot somebody! Not in the neck! I wasn't even aiming! Clearly! Not cool, Anu. Ah. You okay? Peachy. <laughs> okay. Let's try and put all that behind us and focus on the path forward because I may have an idea. So we have a weird healing rock, which is great. Everyone loves healing. But what's the one thing everyone loves more than healing? Gun, guns. Guns! Guns! Why does everything have to be a gun? Wait, 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 but not a gun. Not the hurdy bang bang kind. This would be a long range healing gun, right? It just shoots, you know, beautiful rock slivers instead of bullets. A long range. What's that face? Is that a good face, bad face? A long range glow. Uh-uh. We can't risk damaging the actual shard without knowing where or if there's a source to replenish it from. I am definitely not yanking more of these out of some ancient angry monster. Oh, yeah. No. But we don't need to. If this... this element, whatever this is, functions anything like Iridium does, which it seems to in terms of energy expenditure, uh, then 
I can harness that energy and consolidate it into a beam of light. A, a healing ray. What? Really? Yes. I had a good idea. Because it feels like I actually maybe did. You had a good idea. Ah, it's completely fried. All right. If we're going to get anywhere with this idea... My idea? I'm going to need to fix my... Our... Device. Your gun is broken? My device needs some minor repairs. I I'm going to see if there's anything useful in this froyo garbage. <gasps> Your froyo garbage. Ah, yes. You'll do nicely as a transparent containment unit. I think. You know what they say. Reduce, reuse, reimagine how to recreate your invention using found materials from a bombed out Froger shop. Based on my analysis, this machine is, well, how to put it, demolished, broken beyond repair, unusable, out of commission. You touch my machine, and it's you who will be out of commission. Capiche? Yes, got it. Capiche you loud and clear. Well, it won't be playing any of Prometheus' hottest hits anytime soon. Not that I ever wanted to hear the Psycho Shuffle again. Oh. Nothing useful here. Hey! I meant... Never mind. Is there a map hidden on the... Nope. Alrighty, then. <laughs> Is there anything you can't add marketing to these days? Pressure sensitive tape. A true testament to the power of science and engineering. Presuming Fran doesn't have a welding machine, this ought to do the job. Refrigerators are full of usable material. And me, I know what you're thinking. I thought I abandoned you in shame in a sewer. And you're right. But I do not capitulate so easily. No, no. I crave the rematch so I might reclaim my honor. Of course. So, I did what any person of right mind would do, and I followed your trail here. Uh, well, not here. Here. This is my forward operating base as I plot my redemption. You're living in our fridge? It's free air conditioning. So, uh, who's pathetic now? Still me. Enough pity. I challenge you to vault landers. 
game of kings, the true battle of brain. I don't even know how to play. You'll pick it up. It's really quite simple. Now, battle! Select your ball lander. Fall. Fall versus Vasquez. I'm scared! That Super Bowl combo! Critical hit! Toasty! Finish him! KO! You won! is yours. Uh, yes, it is. You thought with great skill. Are you truly a novice? Were you hustling me? I'm sure I've never played before, but I understand the appeal. Do you want to live with me in this fridge? What? No. <laughs> but thank you for the game. This was fun. Fun? How dare you besmirch Boltlanders by calling it fun? Tis a duel of strategy, bravado, and guile. You are unworthy of your natural skill. Be gone. Open or closed? Closed. So weird. If there are any working fuses in here, I can use one to help regulate current. Is touching live fuses part of your scientific genius? Oh, oh! Should I have been touching live fuses this whole time? No! Octavio, live fuses are still bad. I just assumed with all the destruction, the fuses were dead. I'll use my tech goggles to check them now. Thanks. One good fuse is all I need. So long as I don't screw up the assembly process, that is. reason why there's a camera hidden inside your jukebox machine? Yeah! It's for my only friends. Only friends? Yeah, you know, it's a subscription service for my loyal customers so they can keep an eye on the shop. Sort of like crowdsourcing a security team to keep an eye on the place. But don't tell my fanatics that. <laughs> Yes. 
Yes, got it. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, the camera was offline, and the shop as well. <laughs> so I thought maybe I could use the lens and the device. Now, for the finishing touch. It didn't... Uh, but it should've... I, I, I don't... Should it do something? It's not calibrating to this new element. I'll make a few adjustments, that's all. to ensure this healing ray actually uh, heals, which would require an injury to uh, heal. So we get to shoot ourselves again? We need to test the device. By shooting ourselves again, for the good of science. It needs to be me. It's my device and it's... To be honest, I didn't exactly have it working perfectly before. I won't risk it on either of you. But. Ew, Anu, ow. Ish. You were just taking turns shooting at each other like it was a pillow fight. Yeah, that was nuts, but like awesome. This, however, is just unsettling. All right, fine. Now, someone has to do the honors. I mean, she's clearly going to choose her own brother. Right, Anu? Anu, right? How about it, little brother? For science? For science. All right. Here goes... Everything. Here goes everything. For real, Anu. This thing's... Cool. Gonna be so freaking rich! <laughs> Do you guys realize what we have here? Women. Do you women realize what we have here? Just say y'all. Do y'all realize that this could change everything? That it will be as easy to save a life as take it? That injuries, sickness, they can all be solved with the pull of a trigger? That just Maybe this universe will finally give life the respect it deserves? I can't believe it. I always wanted to change the universe for the better, and now we actually can! But more importantly, that we'll be drowning in cash! I don't... And? What do you mean, and? Money won't solve our problems. Oh, money would solve the majority of my problems. Hard same. Oh, money can't solve what's wrong with you, babe. All right, so we make a bunch of Healy guns, but to do that, we need money. First, device. Second, we only have this one shard. Third, we don't yet have a complete understanding of what this shard is capable of or how it works. Let's not start talking about mass production quite yet. Counterpoint, what better way to test the shard than to make a whole bunch of Healy guns? We're not calling them that. And test them. This is like basic business development. Didn't they teach you that at Space College? Spallage. Spallage. Spallage? I'm not comfortable making more than one of these Healy gu- These devices until I've worked out all the kinks. And spallage is absolutely not a thing. Anu, come on. This is classic you. Working on something for way too long, not wanting to show it off. But let me tell you something. There is no such thing as perfect. Down here, you gotta get messy and move fast. But at Atlas, they fired you. Oh, 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 okay. Say you're right. Where would we get this kind of startup money? 
I mean, pretending I'd go along with this whole thing. Just hypothetically. Louis, do you have any high-value targets we could take out? Take out? I'm an assassination bot, not a take-out bot. In any case, in order to raise the funds required for your business venture, we would need to take out a target with the relative galactic importance of... calculating... the sun. So, is there anyone like that, or...? There is no one like that. Less stupid idea. We could go on sink or swim. Oh! What? It's this new Promethean Echocast, where you pitch an invention to an investor. If he likes it, he basically throws endless money at you. What if he doesn't like it? I do not know. Never actually watched it, friend. It comes on during the evening Frogurt Rush, so I haven't seen it either. Well, it's Promethean, so probably something bad. Guaranteed something very bad. Probably something bad, yes. But hey, if anyone else has a smarter plan, I'm all ears. <sighs> all right. Sink or swim it is. But if we win... When we win? We have to invest some of that money into research. Deal? Deal. <sighs> Deal. All right. Let's get ready for a pitch that will change the universe. Hi. Hello. How are you? So, so. I'm glad to hear that. If I may take a moment of your time, I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you about something so new, so revolutionary, so exciting. I'm listening. That it will completely change your life. If you respect high quality, if you expect only the best, Sounds just like me. I proudly present to you the perfect product. It's perfect for you, perfect for your family, it's perfect for your friends. It's a product you can love, a product you will like. I know that you're going to like this product. Now, do you like being the talk of the town? Let's say you get excited about great value. Boy, do I have exciting news for you. Well, stand by, because I'm about to tell you the secret to unlocking a lifetime of satisfaction. Have fun with it. We did it, gang. We're going on sink or swim. You're not going on sink or swim. Oh, come on. All the contestants have already checked in, which means you have no business back here. Move along. <sighs> Go on. Scram. Skedaddle. Vamoose. Move your tush. <clears throat> I'm the new guard, and I'm relieving you. Right now. Who hired you? J Jim... Jiminy... Jimerson. Jim... Jiminy... Jimerson. Oh, he knows I need these hours. You're not winning this one, Jim Jiminy Jimerson. I'm not playing your game. I'm standing right here. Listen, kid. You're not getting through this door. As sure as my name is Marvin Baxter. Whoa! What the hell, who? Contract filed by groundskeeper Seymour Sato complete. Marvin kept standing on his grass. So you killed him? He committed an infraction for which someone filed a grievance. On his head. My programming demands I fulfill open contracts. Though it now seems both harsh and gratuitous, I feel 
I feel... Shitty? Yes. Contract deposit received. Of course you do. You straight up murk a guy because someone filed the complaint. And for what? A little filthy, degrading blood money. I was planning to share it with the group. Unless you object. I guess it's our filthy, degrading blood money after all. Octavio! He's dead, isn't he? It's not like refusing is gonna bring him back to life. I feel my functionality impedes my consciousness. Is capital execution my only purpose? Alas, poor fallen security guard. You serve as a grim reminder to my tenuous sense of self. Conclusion. I shall remain here in Marvin Baxter's stead, if only to uphold his legacy and honor the life I so reflexively extinguished. I'm sorry, old friend. You just stepped on him. Sorry again. Okay, be cool. Act like we belong here. We're totally legit contestants and not three desperate people with a half-baked plan to win some money. Hey, future losers. <laughs> Just kidding, little rib. Look at your faces. This one took it so seriously. No, we're cool. We're cool, we're cool, we're cool. Pierre Palantine, great to meet ya. Yeah, same. So, what are you bringing to the sink? Ooh. <laughs> You'll see. Uh, <laughs> but you don't want to, like, waste your first pitch on the judges, do you? Come on. Hit me with it. You. Nervous girl. I'm your dry run. Let me see it, at least. Come on. Hit me with it. Give me your pitch, or I'll kill you. Ha! Just joshing. Or am I? Ha! Um, if this baby makes it to market, everything you know will change. Everything. Wow. That is vague to the point of utter uselessness. Fantastic. What? Oh, nothing. It's just, um, it's quaint. Quaint? Plain, boring looking. Look, I was being polite. Uh, Psycho would have noticed this in a trash heap, let alone a judge. I wanted to see if I had anything to fear from the competition and, uh, update. I don't. You talk a big game. Show us what you brought. Reveal my beautiful product before showtime. Psh! You take me for a patsy, you'll sabotage it. No one's sabotaging your stuff, dude. Yeah, right. Exactly what a saboteur would say. Good luck, chumps. Hope you brought your floaties. Hope you don't mind being frozen solid and smashed to pieces in your sleep. What? 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 Have a great show. Maybe I should have punched him in the face, too, just to make sure he got the message. In Fran's defense, he had a very punchable face. In, in fact, if I could create an index of all the punchable faces, I, I'd punch them in order, starting with his! Sick burn, sis. Relax. Oh, I'm relaxed. Beyond relaxed. The most relaxed. But between those relaxed moments, I have these not so relaxed micro moments. You know what I mean? Not at all. What if that condescending jerk was right? What if the device is too quaint? What if the judges hate our pitch? What if my underarms are too sweaty? I don't smell like science, and I definitely don't smell confident. Ugh, yeah, that's something special. I'm serious. I could really use some of that Octavio swagger right now. How do you always keep your poise? How do you do it? You're so good at just rolling with whatever's happening and talking to people, and I'm... Oh, God! The trick is to imagine the audience naked. Seriously? Yeah, how can you be afraid of someone when they're naked? <laughs> That's a great tip. Imagine the audience naked. Don't do it now. I'm not. Because I'm your brother. I know. Pitch and public speaking aside. 
all that stuff Palantine said. We focused on function and performance, which is obviously the correct tactic, right? Uh, uh, but does it need more style? Is our device just, just quit? How do I give it, you know, pizzazz? I'm not a marketing person, I'm a scientist. I can't vibe with today's tweens. <laughs> Who cares how it looks? It's what comes out of the shooty end that counts. But what if Valentine's right? And if it doesn't look cool enough, what if they pass on us before they even see what comes out of the shooty end? Oh, now you've got me saying shooty end. I see it in your face. You think we're dead in the water. And now I'm sweating more. Octavio, what do I do? You stay here and try not to sweat anymore. Leave the rest to me. All right, Palantine, you're about to get Octavioed. All the usual fare, I see. Oh gosh, <laughs> how clumsy of me, I'm so sorry. I hope I didn't damage your invention. Nice try, amateur. It'll take more than that to ruin Pierre Palantine. Oh, I'm counting on it. You're talking to yourself again. That's a sure sign that you're up to something. What are you scheming and how can I help? Palantine's keeping his invention in his back pocket. You think you can distract him long enough for me to get close and hack it? Pa! Watch and learn, kid. Pierre, was it? Oh, you are a beefcake for sure. The beefiest beefcake that ever boffed. Me. Well, I, I don't <laughs> disagree with you, but... Sha, 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 sha. Don't speak. Your voice is too arousing. Every part of you, all this is arousing. Poor guy won't know what hit him. That ought to do it. Your whole body is a temple to beefcake. How do you live in such a meaty temple? <laughs> Healthy diet, regular exercise, the usual. But as I was saying, I, I am about to lose control of myself. And I think I like it. You're just too much for me to be around, please. Pierre. <sighs> Pardonnez-moi. What took you so long? I'm sweating from orifices I didn't even know had sweat glands. We were just having a little tete a tete with the competition. I think it's safe to say we got what we wanted out of the exchange. You're a lifesaver. Give it here. Give what here? The antiperspirant. To stop me from sweating so much. You said you were going to take care of it and then walked off to get me antiperspirant. Octavio, what did you do? Okay, folks, welcome to Sink or Swim, yada, yada, yada. We're on in five, I need to get your names to the announcer. Name? Pierre Palantine, future winner. Uh-huh. Name? Dr. Anuradhadar, and this is Octavio Wallistar and Francine Miskowitz. Uh-huh, okay. You, you're up first. Starting the show off strong, eh? Strap in, chumps. I'm not just a tough act to follow. I'm impossible. Please put your hands together. 
together for my favorite host and yours, Finnegan W. Triton. Welcome to Sink or Swim, the show where daring entrepreneurs face off for funding from me. Because, well, I'm rich. Now, are you ready to welcome our first enterprising engineer? Yeah. I know I am. Yeah. Announcer, tell us who it is. With pleasure, Finnegan. He's lean, he's mean, he's Pierre Valentine. Welcome to the show, Pierre. There's just one question on my mind. Are you ready? Two. Big fan of the show, Finn, and I'm gonna be an even bigger fan of it once I win it with my incredible new invention! Ha! Kidding. Not about winning, though. Ooh-hoo-hoo! A contestant with bravado. Let's just hope his invention is as impressive as his ego. Finnegan, that's the host. He's the one we gotta impress. What do you make of him? I don't know what he's like personality-wise, or morality-wise, or ethics-wise, but the guy's definitely got style. He's hot. Brad, can we focus on something other than your libido? Now, now. This could come in handy. Worst comes to worst, you think you could seduce him, Fran? Obviously, right. Dumb question. There's no such thing as a dumb question. That one was. All right, Pierre, let's see that perfect invention. Gladly. It, it, it looks like a ball. Oh, but it is so much more than just a ball. It is something you have to see to believe. I, I believe it's it's a ball. No, it's it's not. It's not activating. <gasps> I'm in sabotage. Sabotage! That's horrible. Who would do such a thing? Someone dastardly and smart. Probably very good looking. Also very cool. Oh look, more cool stuff on TV. Why do I? I feel like you're trying to distract me. <laughs> distract you? Why would I distract you when there's such excellent development on this program that we should watch right now? Mon chari gonna get dunked. Yeah, I would so love to see your invention at work. Since that is literally the point of this show. Unfortunately, your pitch, it's a ball. No, I swear it does more, so much more. Somebody said tampered with the algorithm. I've been cheated, swindled, uh, hard swoggled. And since someone's already invented the ball, it's an old idea. And as we like to say here, if your pitch doesn't float, I know you should tell him that. Yeah, like why not something with sink or swim in it, like like float and, and dunk? <laughs> What's that even? We just watched a man get eaten alive. And so the wheel of life turns. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, that's right. Eat them all up. We're gonna need that tank clean for our next guest. You still think he's sexy? He just murdered a man in front of a live audience, Anu. So you do think he's still sexy? Of course I still think he's sexy. <sighs> oh my god! If I fail, if I don't pitch it right, he's going to do that to me! Not if we have anything to say about it. Dr. Anurata Dar, you're up next. Just me? Just you. The others try to rush the stage, everyone gets dunked. Apparently we have nothing to say about it. Octavio! 
You're gonna be fine. Just pretend you're pitching to your old boss at Atlas. That's what I did before I came down here. Great! I got fired! Oh, shit! Please welcome your next contestant, a delusional, unemployed scientist, neurotic nerd, and a world dingus, Dr. Anurana Dar! Who wrote that introduction? Today, Dr. Dar will not only be competing to impress our illustrious host, but may also gain favor with a mystery investor. Can she do it, or does a horrible death await? for me, but also my two trusted teammates. <laughs> no project is built by one woman alone. A and really, aren't we all standing on the shoulders of giants? Whoa, whoa. I don't want your life story. Especially when it might be over so soon. This salivating Sithid can't wait to get up close and personal with our sharks. Look, we're eating way too much air here. I asked you if you're ready to sink or swim. It's how we begin all the segments. A simple yes would be fine. I'm ready to swim. <laughs> okay, well, now we can start with your pitch. So you were saying something about a giant ass woman? That's not exactly what I- Great. Amazing backstory. Not at all boring. You're doing great. Right, everyone? Just breathe. Remember what Octavio said. Imagine them naked. Hey! Nice dick! Pardon? It's great! Uh, right. Why don't you tell us about your design? For starters, what's it called? Allow me to present... The Hermes! Oh, God, not again. I gotta have a talk with my producers. You're ex-Atlas, aren't you? How did you... Well, you start a show on Promethea, it's bound to happen, right? But would it kill you people to play a little bit more with the naming convention? All right. On from name to design. Let's have a better look, shall we? Yeah. <laughs> wow. What a remarkable design. Really, really catches the eye. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> it's definitely not quite, right? I'm glad you like it. I said it was remarkable, and then I remarked on it. Let's not get carried away. So, how does this gun... Device. Whatever. How does it work? You know, I was once asked that before. It was another pitch, but I was also another army. I appealed to the company's heart, hoping compassion would win the day. But it did not. No, it did not. But now, with experience and friends behind me, I'll tell you how this device works. Well, second time's gotta be a charm, am I right? <laughs> For your sake, at least. It's a happy zappy zappy to make you stop feeling crappy crappy. What does that even mean? The zappy zappies. They're happy. 
You seem nervous and really bad at this. I just really don't want to be eaten by sharks. I don't know if this healing beam works on disembowelments. Healing beam? Yes. So, the opposite of a gun? Exactly. Uh, finally, someone gets it. Huh. Pass. What? He's gonna sink her! He's gonna sink her! As I slowly lower my finger towards the sink button... This laborious soliloquizing absolutely destroys the pacing of our show. But what can I say? I like holding people's lives in my hand. Watching the last lights of hope flicker from their eyes as they realize their project, <laughs> their life's ambition, has failed to carry water. Because here on Sink or Swim, we live and die by our ideas. And if that idea doesn't float, Thanks. I've been lifting. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Anu? I'm sorry. I couldn't. <gasps> Tell me you're getting this! I loved your pitch. Thank you. <sighs> really solid stuff out there. You hit all the marks we went over in practice. Just a bang up job. Yeah. It felt good up there. It should have, because it looked good. I mean, if I had a million dollars, I would invest the hell out of you. Thanks. 
Should I do mouth to mouth? I think that's only when people stop breathing. I'm gonna do mouth to mouth. I'm still breathing. We need something. Something else. Anu. Anu! Wake up. Stay with us. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's no use. She said something else. Something else. I hate to break up this beautiful ratings moment, but didn't you rejects bring a healing gun to the show? He's right. We can use the device. We don't even know if it can reattach limbs. Well, right now is a pretty great freaking time to find out. It's working. <gasps> Thank you, magical healing gun. Device. Ah, oh, diggity, you scared me half to death. Are you feeling faint? Sure you don't need a little mouth-to-mouth? -mouth? I am a soul asunder. Harmonic vibration seeking resonance. So that's a no, then? Anu? You got Finnegan on the phone again. Well, sir, I might have an offer for you, if you'd be so kind as to entertain it. Oh, yeah, sure. Let me just take you off speaker. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Yes, that would be quite agreeable. <laughs> well, well, well. Ladies and gentlemen and enemies, we have a sink or swim first. Now, despite me passing on your little anti-gun, you three have attracted the attention of an angel adventure! Who is it? Who? Who cares who? How angelic are we talking? <laughs> Announcer, tell them what they've won. These lucky three contestants have just won one million dollars in someone else's money to fund their business. That's our show, everyone. We'll see you here next time on Sink or Win. Now that we're a hit, here's what I'm thinking. You, me, spin-off show. We call it Octin' Around. You know, because my name's Octavio. I'd eat at an expensive restaurants with supermodels around the... Don't push it. <laughs> Holy crap! We did it! We didn't sink! We did not sink! We swam! I mean, yeah, you got banged up and spoken tongues for a hot second. Yeah, about that? Probably just all the blood loss, right? Exactly! Classic blood loss. I'm not so sure. It, it felt... Who cares? We got our money! Cash paper! My beautiful, brilliant sister, I could kiss you! Uh... I could. But I won't. I'll kiss anyone. We know. When you fell in that tank, I thought you were dead. Me too. I totally panicked. I, and not just because, you know, you were gonna die, but... I just couldn't imagine going on without you. Never thought I'd get this, uh, vulnerable. <laughs> it feels off-brand. Aw, oh, I wouldn't be able to go on without you either. Yeah, that's because you'd be dead. Right, but I... Like, incredibly dead. Okay. Way too dead to hang. Hey, let's focus on the team. Anu's alive! And we don't have to waste valuable capital on getting her some cool prosthetic rocket leg or something. Rocket leg? Or a shotgun foot? Oh. Have you met me? All I'm saying is this little beauty didn't just save your boring human leg, it saved our wallets when it saved your boring human leg. Yeah, uh, about that. Fran.
Thanks. Same. Ladies, I think it's safe to say things are looking up. Oh. You got Octavio. Who, may I ask, has the pleasure of speaking with me? Well, how dee, if it ain't my intrepid inventors what I invested in. Who is the angel investor? Well, shucks now, ain't nobody ever called me that before. I just wanted to check on my investment and... What are your terms? There's gotta be a catch. Fran, don't look a money horse in its cash mouth. Oh, go easy on her, handsome. She's just looking out for y'all. Here are my terms. You make your device, and I get half the profits. Sound fair? Half, we accept. We accept. Thanks, bye. Go! Oh, what gives? This isn't about the money. This is about changing the world. Considering we were about to be ripped limb from limb, I'd say 50% is awfully generous. Sure, sure. Maybe the worst negotiation I've ever heard, but whatever. I'm riding high. We got our seed money, we got a plan, nothing's gonna stand in our way. <gasps> We've discussed this. I am back. Clearly. You are still alive. Albeit wet. I fought off a bunch of sharks. Oh, it was really cool. And everybody fell in love with me. Then you have secured the funding. You bet your metal butt we did. <laughs> After P <laughs> After Pierre's ball dropped. Through no fault of my own. Right. After that, we really wowed them with a dazzling impromptu demonstration. And secured funding from an anonymous donor who, I am confident, sees our device's potential to change lives for the better. Yeah, exactly. But also, we're rich, Lou! I am relieved that you are not dead. And that you are no longer poor. Plus 500 skateboards for us. That's not how the system works. There is a complicated calculus involved in your skateboard metric, Francine. And, judging by the mood of general confidence, it would appear you are working well as a team. Thirteen skateboards. On a scale of what to what? Skateboards. What's wrong, pal? I thought you liked giving us skateboards. I do. But am I fit to give them? I had ample time to assess my programming while standing outside and arrived at a conclusion. I am a failure. I am worthless. Okay, this just took a turn. Seeing each of you grow as individuals and as a team fills me with such absolute misery. Seems self-obsessed, but you do you, bot. That is exactly it, Francine. I cannot do me. Hey, with a little practice and some mood lighting. <laughs> Fran, despite being borderline psychotic, you are the closest thing to a functioning adult in close proximity. Um, hello. I hate killing, but I cannot contravene my programming. What does that say about me? We all have our programming. You can deny it or you can own up. Oh, we're pretending to rage is actually a strength of character now? That's fun! Bite me. So, what then? I am a slave to my nature. I don't know, life's weird. Weird is insufficient. I require objective clarity. Am I evil, Francie? Your hesitation alarms me. Or perhaps it should not. If the answer is unclear, maybe there is hope for me. Don't sweat, you're killing it. That is the entire problem. Oops. I feel I now have more questions than when we began this conversation. Yeah, life's like that. Nonetheless, having expressed my anxieties, I now register a significant, if inexplicable, closeness to you. A growing affection, one might say. Yeah, I have that effect on people, or robots, whoever. If I could provide a rating of our friendship on a scale of one to seven volleyballs, it... Don't ruin this. Hi. Um, yeah, the show ended over an hour ago. Could you all please, you know, leave now? Oh, God, yes. So sorry. Thank you for having us. It was nice meeting you. Let's grab coffee sometime. So, I had a thought. 
Did it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> we just want a bunch of money, right? So, hear me out. Maybe we need better digs than a literal pile of rubble. We just want sink or swim. We're players now. We should probably work somewhere less... busted. We can salvage this. We use the investor's money and rebuild right here. Rebuilding would take time, Fran. Promethea needs this technology now. Who pissed in your shark tank? Fran, we gotta face the facts. Look around you. This place has been bombed twice. There's nothing left. Incorrect. Structurally, there is 30% of Franz Frogitz left. Utilizing reclaimed rebar and approximately a metric ton of co Why are you making that throat-cutting motion? <sighs> Franz Frogitz isn't dead dead, Fran. It'll live forever in our hearts. Sure, it can live on in your hearts, but legally and financially, Franz Frogitz is unequivocally dead. I hope this clarity was helpful. Listen, we got a different dream now. All of us together. And that dream starts with a location. Location is everything in business. Companies live and die by their real estate. Octavio's not wrong. Look at why Atlas moved their locale to space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a vital decision that will determine our level of success or failure. It's a mission of such importance that I can only entrust it to myself. It's a burden I'm honored to take for the betterment of us all. If we're getting a new HQ, can you do me a solid and make sure it has an armory? I'm not sure that fits our brand. Tell that to my Vroger chop that was attacked twice. Fair. Well, if you're in charge of finding the new HQ, what am I going to do? Oh, I have the perfect job for you. What does every startup company need? The thing that defines company culture. Like I said a minute ago, an armory. No. Sure, maybe. But also, staff. You, me, Anu, and Louis, we're the think tank. We need staff to, you know, execute our visions. And you, Fran, clearly have an eye for talent. I mean, you hired me, after all. I suppose I could head down to Lore's and interview a few candidates at his cafe. I do have an eye for talent. Exactly. Great. It's settled. I'll go get an HQ. Fran and Louie will go hire us some staff, and Anu, you'll get production supplies. Acquire testing material. Right. Same thing. Like, think. Look at us! Working together separately to get this business off the ground! Indeed. This deserves a skateboard. Oh, goody, a skateboard. Just think. When we meet back up, this business will be operational! Dirty 30, here we come. Just... Call us when you found a new location, Ock. And make sure it has cold storage for my supplies. See you soon, friend. Well, I guess this is it then. Just Fran and L0U13. You didn't go with Octavio. An astute observation. Awesome. Love that for me. Can you give me a minute to say goodbye to the old place? I can. 60 seconds, starting now. I love this place more than anything. Franz Frogertz was my first love. But I have more to love now. Franz Frogertz are frozen. The Frogertz are frozen. The frozen is frickin' Frogertz around. Well, come on, bot. I know somebody who can help us staff up. <laughs> Yeehaw!
need a corpse to study the shard with. It's all above board. <laughs> this isn't creepy. <laughs> Remember it a joke. <laughs> oh, that's great. I was like, oh no, is she a creep? Mayhaps you'd like to hear it. How many dead orphans does it take? Uh, I'm I'm good. I'm Dr. Anuradhadar. And I am keeper of the dead. You may call me Keeper for short, as we are now friends. Oh, I... Short. I was... Uh, my company was hoping to contract an asset from you. An asset? My children shall be so delighted. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should... Uh, maybe this was a bad... Nonsense! We can do business. I have many products to sell. All pristine. Now, what was the name of your company again? I shall stare at you until you answer. Um, heal better... Games. You make games? My children love games. No. Seems like an odd name then. It was available. Look, I need to buy a corpse, and you seem like the most reputable. Buy a corpse? What are you, a pervert? No, I. What? I... You said you could sell me pristine products. I make candles. You don't sell corpses? Of course not. That's creepy. Oh, and stroking a dead body and calling it your child isn't? What? I was referring to my daughters. This wretched job is putting them through college on Eden 6. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I misunderstood. Clearly. Now, please, vacate the premises. I, no, wait. I still need a corpse. It's important for my studies. And you expected I'd just sell you one? I don't know who you are to come in here and expect me to roll out different flavors of corpse, like some sort of fast, casual eatery. But that's not what I am about. With these corpses, I could perform experiments that will save lives. Well, if that's the case, why don't you approach a, a university or, or a hospital? I, uh, did. They turned us down. Because? Our company is exclusively comprised of want criminals. There it is. But look, guy. Changed my mind. I'll sell you a body. What? Really? Yeah, I, you seem nice enough, and I mean, it's it's not like they're gonna mind, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just g give me a moment, will you? And uh, feel free to look around. <gasps> Not! I did! 
steal. Hmm. If I could replace the spinal column, I bet I could reattach the head to the rest of the body and oh my god, what am I doing with my life? Amanda and Lynn of the Dead graduated Eden Six Preparatory Academy. They're my whole world. Everything all right? Just uh, readying the corpse. Please don't tell me what that means. Doesn't look like it's been digitally manipulated. Those four kids have a three lifetimes worth of student debt ahead of them. Maybe she uses it for self-defense. A good engineer works with the tools she has. Scent of an afternoon snuggle. Oh, that's... <laughs> What's that? You checking out my candle? No, yeah, I was... Uh, how calming! I'm not stupid. Size. The rent was too high in my fridge space. But my income level, or lack thereof, if I'm honest, is irrelevant. I challenge you to a duel. Seriously? I I'm kind of in the middle of something. Then you'll also be in the middle of losing. Now, battle! Okay, fine. One quick game. Select your ball lander. Fog versus Roland Fog Landers Fight This is gonna hurt Get the c c critical Lander Rippin C-c-critical! Whoa-ho! Ha! Oh, Super Bowl combo! Land ripping! Full land him! You won! I have been bested. 
It's just a matter of strategy. I'd be happy to offer tips to improve your game. Your victory is insult enough. As usual, I'm relegated to abject humiliation. I don't deserve to drink from the plum spiced fountain of victory. The plum spiced what? I don't even deserve to dwell with the living. Close me in. Thank you. Damage from the fall seems minimal. Eyeballs and teeth all accounted for. Good as new. Except for the... everything. Sorry. You, you, sorry. Now, just ram the head onto the bike so we can turn this whole experience into another fun, repressed memory. What did you say? You said good as new. What's good as new? Man! I know, right? Uh, okay. Uh, I found a corpse for you if you want to see it. See it, as in go to another room. Uh, uh, for sure, yes. Let's leave this room immediately. <clears throat> I knew I had a spare corpse around here somewhere. I was just planning on throwing out, honestly. It's getting kind of rancid, though. I is that okay? That's perfect, actually. The more decayed, the better. Sorry about this. <gasps> hey! What are you doing? Uh, there's a contract out on your head. It's enough money to pay off the girl's student debt and invest in my candle company full time. Hey, I thought you water creep, says the woman thirsting for rancid corpses. Besides, I'm not the one killing you here. I'm just the one locking you in a coffin until you run out of oxygen. The coffin's the real creep here. Be mad at the coffin. Okay. Don't panic. You're not claustrophobic. Except now that you've said it aloud, you are. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. No, think. Wait, the goggles. Come on, show me something. What's that? A hole, measuring 0.5 millimeters in diameter. If widened, this could provide a means to avoid capture and death by the TDOR Corporation. What? You don't talk? When did you start talking? Shadownet update illegally installed by Octavio Wallace Dar. Now, punch. Aww. Yes! Ow! No. 
many more punches until I break through? Based on the strength of your punches, the coffin door will be compromised after 5,000 more punches. Slow and steady, Anu. No need to rush, because Tidior will be here at any moment to capture her and kill you. Just one punch at a time. Starting to hurt a lot. Come on, almost there with about three thousand nine hundred to go. <laughs> You've reached Doctor Anu Radha Dar. I'm unavailable to take your call right now, so please leave a message. Your little bro has outdone himself with the HQ mission, sis. Sending you the Addy now. Hope you're having fun in your supply run. I saw your bounty on TV, and I'm calling to collect. Hmm. On Dr. Dar? Yeah. Awkward, nerdy lady. Dar, that's right. And she's dead. Uh, not yet. But her oxygen's sure to run out any minute now. Lovely. We've tracked your location. My men will arrive to dispose of you. I mean, dispense your reward to you shortly. Wait, what did you say? Tidior thanks you for your service. Most stories in the Borderlands start bloody. They end bloody, too. And really, the bit in the middle isn't too great either. But every once in a while, things aren't so bad. This is the situation our three doofuses found themselves in. After successfully pitching their uh, opposite of a gun on sink or swim, the genius, the rage monster, and the big dumb idiot had the world on a string. Well, for the most part. Anu, the competent one, intended to collect a corpse. But thanks to Susan Caldwell's bounty, Anu might find herself being the corpse she wanted to collect. Don't give me that look. You narrate next time you think you can do so much better. Four. <laughs> Ock! Ock! Can you hear me? There? Supposed to back an hour ago. No. Coming in, Nikki. You've got to come rescue me! Some lady locked me in a coffin and called Tidior! Breaking up? It sounded like you said you were locked in a coffin and Tidior was on the way? That's exactly what I said! Can't be right, though. Never be dumb enough to willingly get into a coffin. Hello? Hello? Great! I can't wait to reach my healing device. 
<sighs> hey! Your boss lady said you'd be here by now. Those student loans aren't gonna pay themselves. What's the holdup? So sorry, ma'am. My platoon was diverted by civil unrest. ETA, five minutes. Oh. Five minutes. Come on. Come on. Just one more punch. Level of deterioration, severe. Likely usefulness in shard experimentation, low. Damn! I don't care if there's a war going on. I got your girl in a coffin and a, a bank account getting skinnier by the minute and... Level of deterioration, none. Likely usefulness in shard experimentation, high. If she were a corpse. A scalpel. Useful for transforming people into corpses. I don't. No, 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 no. I, 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 I don't want to kill again. Really? Because the idea is growing on me. <laughs> Watch it! Nothing personal! Go on. Just die, you psycho! Now this is it! You psycho bandage trash! would have to be made of legs. Oh. Ma'am, buzz our thing! Oh. Recommendation. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I murdered you for no reason. Kind of. I'm sorry.
no peeking. Octavio, is this really necessary? Uh, and where is Fran? I have something important to tell you both. Uh, but, but, I, I said no peeking. Voila! Say hello to our new HQ. Do you love it? I bought it from the city's top realtor, Rhonda Fofolia. She's one of the dirty 30. Her whole reputation is built on being nice and honest. Central location, spacious, great schools. And there's something homey and familiar about it. You bought Franz Frogut. <laughs> what? No. Yes. You bought the literal rubble of Franz Frogut, the same location you wanted us to leave. There's no way we could know for sure this is Franz Frogert. There's a big sign that says Franz Frogert. That sign is old news. You're looking at the new headquarters of our company, which I named an awesome name that I totally remember. And that name is Octavio Solutions. And what do we solve? Uh... Octavio Problems. You bought a blown out Froger shop. The same Froger shop we fled. And the only difference is a custom plaque? Not the only difference. This place is full of updates. Come, look around. Updates such as... What about these 100% granite countertops? It's slabs of blown up granite from Tidio's attack that have been left on the counter. She said it was shabby chic. Shabby, 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 shabby. Chic. Okay, fine. But, but, I haven't even told you the best part yet. I didn't need to take out a loan. I was able to pay it full, in cash, up front. You what? It took some professional gauche, uh, professional negotiation, but I got her to accept all the money we want from Sink or Swim, since this building is ours free and clear. <laughs> you idiotic. <gasps> This already was ours before it was blown apart from an invasion. You bought it for no reason with all our capital? These are some high level biz maneuvers. Business maneuvers. It's above your pay grade. They don't expect you to understand. I get it. You think I agreed to purchase this place right away, but. I'm not an idiot, Anu. I knew Fran would want to invest in some security measures, and I knew you'd want some high-tech tools to work with. So, being the amazing negotiator I am, I talked Rhonda into giving us... Into giving us what, exactly? If you're dragging this out to create suspense, which just feels like anxiety to me, more, more anxiety. A plasma ball. Very scientific. I'm sure it'll help with your experiments. I haven't seen you make that face since we were kids. You'd always make that face just before you. <laughs> Let's not go nuts here. If you were me, you'd do the same. Get up, you two. Ah. I leave you two doofuses alone for one second and you're at each other's throats. You are also in the place where we last saw you. Friend Octavia, have you been duped again? Yes, he spent all of our capital buying. She pulled my ear. 
Hard! Ba, 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 ba. I don't want to hear it. As far as I'm concerned, I'm back home again. And I love these countertops. They used to be our floor. Even if Octavio spent all of our money on my shop, I have made up for it by hiring our support staff on the cheap. And by cheap, I mean nothing. Come along, Fergus. Fergus? Free labor, free labor, free labor, free labor, free, free labor. Strangely arousing. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, uh -huh. a rather fascinating human. The dancing, the free labor. He lives in a perpetual flow state. Coexisting with instinct and agency. He completely bypasses the contradiction of programming. His oscillating hips are fascinating and somehow life affirming. I can read between the lines. That's Robo Talk for Great Ass. When I reflexively murdered that security guard, I found myself in a consciousness paradox. But you have solved it. I shall learn from you. You are my guru. Free labor. Free labor. I thought I was your guru. What an astonishingly inaccurate assessment. Him. A, a guru. Him. Sure, he's a great dancer with chisel dabs and a butt that refuses to quit. But I'm not sure he's the right fit for a startup business. Does he have any usable experience? No offense, of course. <laughs> Are you kidding me? A dancing shirtless man is always useful. You just have to think outside the box. Or on top of the box. <gasps> Marketing opportunity. He dances on top of a box. Yes! Free labor. No employees dancing on any boxes or tables. Free labor. Who died and made you queen of HR? The following HR professionals had their contracts fulfilled, by which I mean lives terminated in the past hour. Sophia Poppy, Eleonora Copsa, Harriet Lilly, Jade Dukesha. That's not what she meant. Fergus sought me out for his college's work-study intensive program. Free labor. He's majoring in libidinous business management and minoring in hot throbbing. Fran! You do know you're not trapped, right? You can leave any time. Give one thrust for yes, two for no. Free. And you want to work for your college course unpaid? Labor! That's it! I give up. Welcome aboard! Yes! I hope you enjoy your time at Octavio Solutions. Whoopee! Fergus, whip us up some Froyo daiquiris. Extra space room. Free labor. Free labor. <gasps> I never get tired of that tush. Oh, yeah. Shake it. Seems like I'm the only one who's actually made an effort. Do either of you have any idea what I went through to bring you the... The... The nothing at all? Weren't you supposed to get, like, supplies? A corpse. Oh, wow, are we pivoting to the corpse business? Either way, I don't see a corpse, which means you screwed up just as badly as us. Worse, we actually came back with something. You're right. I screwed up. 
I had to bring a dead body for organic testing material, and I failed. I failed you, I failed the company, and most of all, I failed myself. If there's anything, anything I could do to make it up to you, let me know. Well, I guess you could wax my hover chair. And make me tacos for the rest of the month? I could do it with an oil change. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter now anyway. I was weak. Hey, you couldn't bring yourself to kill somebody? That's nothing to be ashamed of. No, I definitely killed somebody. I just have no upper body strength. Or lower body. Or middle body. Oh, the point is, none of us accomplished anything. Is that right? Not entirely. Anu at least managed to evade the TDO patrols currently searching for her. Right before she and Octavia ran past several dozen security cameras on their way here. Wait, what now? TDR was there? The person running the morgue tried to collect on my bounty. Baby girl's first bounty? Aww. Guys, focus! If the security cams got us, we were followed. Yes, almost certainly. Maybe you were followed, but I wasn't. We were going to the same place! There's no way! Hello, Ding Dong! Dr. Anu to Harda. Your bounty is misspelled. I won't murder you. Why don't you let me get you a Frogurt? We'll all cool down and let calmer heads prevail. What do you say? I am at Violence is expected! Yes, but if you pull that trigger, a couple of things are gonna happen. One. Oh my god! No! Congratulations! You killed my commander, and I killed your doctor! We are now even, Stephen. Oh, I'll show you even! for the win! Joke's on you! I didn't like those guys anyway! I had a mission, and I completed it! Meanwhile, your friend is still dead! Later, loser! She's gone? She's really gone? Rubber! down. You didn't even get to try your device on a dead. What if Anu is the dead body? Correct. Anu's body is dead. It can be hard to accept such tragedies. Come 
Come on. Please. How are you feeling, sis? You were totally dead there for a minute. A really scary minute. I, uh, yeah. Are, are you okay? I think so. If you need mouth to mouth, just say the word. Whoa, whoa, you were totally dead there less than a minute ago. Maybe you should take it easy. No, no, I'm fine. I... <gasps> Not fine at all. It's weird. I... Uh... Anu? Your eyes are... glowing. I feel... Wronged. Is this normality? Nothing about this is normal. Anu? Say something. Are you okay? In peril. Well, I sure as hell can fix that. Give me that piece of shit. For whatever reason, whenever Anu gets a hit of this shard's healing juice, she goes off funny. I don't know why, but I also don't care. It's been nothing but trouble since we got it. Ah! No! You seem to have changed the shard's energy signature, Francine. You will only cause us. Anu? That you, girl? We must be made whole. That's a big no. Hold up. I know what to do. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. OK, I'm out of ideas. What do we do? I'm new to alien possession, too. What would Anu do? Probably befriended. Ah, worth a shot, I guess. And if not, I have something else we can try. <laughs> oh. Hey. Hi. Uh, oh. uh, Octavio here. Um, I don't know what you're doing to my sister, but you need to let her go. Uh, now? Please? Just leave her alone, okay? She's she's no good to you if you hurt her. You're half for the promise. We are made whole. I I promise. <gasps> Anu. You were dead, and then you were super possessed. This has been a real roller coaster. I didn't even get a chance to give you mouth to mouth. Unless, of course, you want some now. I mean, would it help? I am fine, uh, really. I'm sorry I blew all our money on a blown out Froyo shop. I'm sorry my intern is so sexy. And I'm sorry I got trapped by a crazy candle making morgue attendant and let Tidio straight to our door. I'm sorry I cannot identify with any of these extreme emotions. Free labor. Free labor. Free labor indeed. <sighs> Listen, I'm great at running a dessert-based business that I have inherited, but let me get real with you both for a minute. Starting a technology business? It's hard. So, so hard! hard. And we're bad at this. Like, really bad. Really bad. bad. We've made so many rookie mistakes. So many. We didn't even set up a fun office culture. Like Casual Friday or, or Taco Tuesday. Or make out with your coworkers Wednesdays. Oh, come on. Like, I'm the only one who enjoys make out with your coworkers Wednesdays. OK. Maybe Fran's right. Fran's definitely right. You know what they say, though? The first step to being bad at business is admitting you're good at business. That doesn't make any sense. It does when you think about it. No, it still doesn't make any sense. 
Look, we're all beginners at this, right? Maybe we need to get some help from a veteran. Someone seasoned, successful, and already on our side. Strong Fork! The angel investor! Oh, that's a great idea. Get her on your phony decks. Already am, and it's a Nekodex phone. And don't tell me what to do. Whatever, give me the phone thingy. Howdy, howdy! You got Fran here? You can just talk normally. Fran of Franz Frogert, as I live and breathe. Heard one of them chatty TD or guns broke into your homestead and put a hole straight through Arno's bread box. Are we revealing our device brought me back from the dead? She did invest in us. We should respect our shareholders. If Ward gets out, it goes our way. It's called controlling the Nair. Narrative? What you heard on the news is true. Anu was shot in the head at close range by TDR. She died from a lack of complete head. I got better. My head is complete. You mind running that by me again, partner? You invested in us because you saw the Hermes heal. We have since discovered, quite recently and through first hand experimentation, <laughs> that it does, in fact, revive the dead. <laughs> well, but my biscuits, that's all kinds of interesting. But it means the target on y'all's head just got even bigger. That's why we're calling you on the Echo Doodle Doo. Echo Dex. We were wondering if you could help get our business on its feet. Maybe protect us from Tidor and other bounty hunters while we're at it. Tell you what, housing your enterprise is a big expense, but I didn't just invest in that Healy Beam of yours, I invested in y'all. And if there's one thing I do, it's protect my investments. <laughs> Did you hear that? We're investments! That's great to hear. I think I speak for all of us when I say we very much want to stay alive. And we're grateful for your help. From one business tycoon to another. I'll put y'all up in my private hacienda. It's safe there. You can continue your research, hang in the hot tub, enjoy a shiatsu massage from Abdul. Research? Hot tub? Abdul. I'm sending a car now. See y'all in a jiffy? High five time? High five time. And speaking of investments, we need you to stay here and do whatever you can to clean this place up. Free labor. They do that sometimes. You'll get used to it. Hacienda, you? Oh, no! Y'all have to forgive me. I know it's rude not to give y'all a big old warm welcome face to face, but you got here just in time for a real special hoot nanny was happening this very night. I'm hosting a bit of a fete or partido, if you will, and you are, of course, all invited. A party? With... People? A party, eh? What are you celebrating? Well, holy the fact that three people have invented a technology that will change the whole gosh darn world forever and ever and ever. <laughs> I think that's worth a little celebrating, don't you? Yes. Uh, thank you for, um, believing in our vision. I mean, the party is a cool, too, a very, very fun surprise. <laughs> Not at all anxiety-inducing. I love people and being the center of attention and... What my sister means to say is that we look forward to raging with you. <laughs>
The party will start in just a few wee hours, and I so look forward to meeting y'all in person when it kicks off. Until then, I went and took the liberty to arrange some pleasant diversions for each of you that I hope you will find to your liking. I'll leave you in the hands of my capable assistant. What about Louis? Do you have something special for him to do? Yeah, what about Louis? He's part of our team. What? He's grown on me. I have not. I remain unattached from your person. See? Charming. I would never overlook such a fine piece of machinery. L0U13? You find an outlet on the wall, it's quite special. It will plug you into an AI-only server where you can, how to put this, exchange data with other consenting intelligences. I'm talking multiple data packets. I do enjoy the exchange of data. Cool, bud. You, uh, you enjoy that. Oh, my. That's very good. Mr. Wallace Dar, please follow me. Miss Miskowitz and Dr. Dar, I will be with you momentarily. Vivington Bradwick. No way. Yes way. No way! Vivington Bradwick. Yeah, I... Yes, it's really me. From Forge's super successful Dirty 30? Yes, well done, Octavio. But, you know, I'm not the only person here associated with that vaunted list. You are too. <laughs> That's right, you are one of Forge's super successful Dirty 30. How does it feel? <laughs> this is a dream come true. I feel so fudging validated right now. Fudges. Even more validation. Thank you, Vivington Bradwick. I love you. Yeah. Oh, right. I almost forgot. This is for you. It grants you access to the Dirty 30 VIP room. Dirty 30 members only. <laughs> so, where is the old angel investor? Would love to party with her in chat, you know? One business tight into another. Oh, the angel investor isn't here. She unwinds in more private circles. More private than this? Relax. Okay, can I offer you an overpriced drink? You seem like... A man of taste. Maybe something from the booze luge. <laughs> Only select members from the VIP section can partake from the booze luge. It's called the booze luge for a reason. Slide down some booze! Business decisions! <laughs> Just be I be! <laughs> 
is amazing. I gotta go find Anu and friends so they can try the booze loose. Octavio, my new best friend. Can I be real with you for a minute? Always, Benjamin Tim Franklin. Always. These diversions are for you, the real VIP. Anu and Fran are being well taken care of, I assure you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the success you earned. You sure they're having a good time too? Absolutely positive. Dr. Dar, at last! It's so great to meet you. Come on in, please. I've been dying to show you the space. Huh? Say hello to your new home away from home. Please, after you. State-of-the-art facilities, unlimited resources. Huh? A dedicated multidisciplinary team working under you. No oversight and no Deadlines. Not to be just like super on the nose about it, but frankly, this is any scientist's dream come true. But if there's no oversight, what about... Is there a board? No. What about other department heads? <laughs> no. But who do I have to appease to be given funding? No one. I don't understand. I know. Seriously, this is perfect. It's like you picked this lab right out from one of my dreams. But I couldn't possibly take this lab. I have my own company and a project I'm working on, and Octavio and Fran need me, and... Okay. I understand. It's a real shame, though, because we have some problems, which, if you solve them, would change all of science. Probably even the world. Forever. Like, the type of problem where they'd name an equation after me? Equations? <laughs> More like planets. Well, that's okay, you are a busy woman with things to do. I suppose I have a few minutes. I could take a quick peek. Very good feeling about this. Fancy machine, not functional. Yeah, I know, but why? Scanning. No idea. <laughs> oh, maybe I can review the work they've done on it so far. <laughs> I've identified the issue, but I can see how you missed it. This fluid is not pH balanced for the reaction you're attempting to achieve. It just needs a little more... base. <laughs> I said it needs a little more... base! <laughs> no? Nothing? Uh, okay, then. <laughs> Where do they keep their alkalis? Hmm. There's no cipher for this code in the database. If I had more text to work with, I'm positive I could crack the code and translate it. <laughs> Trust the process. Trust. No way. No. 
way. Is that a Voltlander's figurine of Maya in her limited edition cloak of Athena's? <laughs> Maya. Maya. Maya, 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 Maya. Maya. <clears throat> Should I take you? I want to take you. I can't take you. But someone else could take you? It'd be wrong to take you. I'm gonna take you. I took you. Such focus. Such dedication. According to these readings, you are full to bursting with urine! Fantastic! <laughs> Nervous Pierre? Me too. Sometimes, all it takes is a little soothing music. It's an honor watching you work. Perhaps some soothing music would help the jabber to relax and fall into a flow state. And by flow state, I mean pee. Maybe he could pee! Huh. Lo-fi beats that you could take a leak to. There really is a station for everything these days. Hmm. There you go. Some nice, relaxing music. Uh. Oh no. Still feeling shy? what I've been saying all along. Nature provides us a solution to so many problems. No one blinks twice at the idea of shooting someone, but ask them to handle a little jabber urine and their worldview shatters. I mean, look! Look at what science can achieve! Uh, now, uh, what did you need this for again? It's for hair growth. Try some. I fun. But thank you. No. Trust the process. Trust science! Secrets of science kept secret, eh? It's written in the same code that's on the whiteboard. 
Surely there's enough text here to crack code if I use my tech goggles to analyze it. Decrypting weird code. <sighs> Cipher unlocked. You're welcome. Hmm. Now that I have the code, I can translate the whiteboard. Plus one point for Anu's genius. You cracked the code. We've been stumped on that one for weeks. What does the message say? Don't cross the streams. Don't cross the streams. That seems like pretty life altering advice. Huh. It's an honor watching you work. I've identified the issue. You've... You've crossed the streams. If we are across them... <laughs> should be all working now. Oh, so close, but... No. When you've exhausted all other options, sometimes it's best to just get physical. with these problems for weeks on end and you solve them all of them in one day that's wow that is wow well i you know sometimes you just need a fresh pair of eyes <laughs> one question though i understand the connection between the code and the congripulizer but how does the jabber urine factor in oh it didn't Okay. <laughs> Three cheers for Dr. Dar! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Fran. Rita? In the flesh. How are your sisters doing, Rita? I'm sure you've heard Rhonda made it to Forge's Dirty 30 this year. And Reva, well, I think her jealousy got the better of her. I haven't heard from her since the magazine came out. She's probably cooling off somewhere. You know how she is. Such a drama queen. Ugh. Yeah. Yep to all that. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about the past. I'm here to talk about the future. Okay. And the future is the Franz Frogert franchise. You want to turn my Frogert shop into a franchise? Yes. The company I represent is willing to invest several trillion dollars to convert what was once your 
the humble little shop into a galaxy-wide empire. And the cherry on top? A five billion dollar signing bonus. All for you. Five billion dollars? That's almost six billion dollars. Go ahead, take her for a spin. Make yourself a cup of Frogurt. We paid careful attention to your signature flavor profiles. You're gonna love it. See for yourself. Okay, let's see how you did with my chocolate dill pickle. The sooner you sign off on the store, the sooner we can have you sign your con... What the... How did you even get this picture? Corporate fat cats keep their loot in places like this. <clears throat> Salutations! Care for a duel in a thrilling trial of Falklanders? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, Tiny, let's go. <laughs> Your jet is hollow. For I am not Tiny! Unless you're referring to my genitals, which I lost in a buzzsaw accident. Don't care. Let's go. Select your ball lander. Maya. Maya versus Brick. Ball lander. Fight. new to this. Either I'm really good, oh, or you suck. Both. Wait. Uh -huh. Good boy. Dude in a trunk with no junk. Better collect all the dough in this place. I am Fran of Franz Froger's after all. Make it rain! <gasps> hey now. <gasps> Even better than cash. Gonna pour that yogurt or what? I hate these newfangled. Your Froger 
Vending machine requires routine maintenance. Move on over to the back room. Boop, boop. Is everything broken here? Boo? The only thing broken is you! What? What? The maintenance store only boops to boopers with pure hearts. Even the tiniest booplet knows the secret ingredient to Froger is feelings! To enter, you have to confide your deepest, sincere, poopy feelings. I do not use that mode anymore. <sighs> Looks like someone is repressing a traumatic memory. Would you like a foop in hand? No! That's a foop in shame. You know our policy. If you want to repair, you gotta share. I can share. You want me to share something personal? Something personal. Hmm. Something personal. I never got to pork our unpaid sexy intern. So sexy. So unpaid. You're avoiding your true feelings. That boops my fooping foop. Wait, hold on. I can do it. I... I... You can't just foop a suppressed memory from thin air. You have to be relaxed. Gently foop it from your mind. I'd like to foop you from my mind. Why don't you do some chores around your store? This place could use fooping up, and the activity is sure to give your memory a foop in the pants. <laughs> Like what? You look like foop! Total foop! A thick, steaming pile of foop! All right! I'll freshen up! Fooptastic! Please foop your foop! Where's my big hole? I don't know how to answer that. Can't hurt to liven this place up with some tunes. Please poop a selection. Pump it up, Promethea. That's not what I pooped. That's not what I pooped! <laughs> no, not a chance. Wash my hands, huh? Thanks, Mother. Yeah, one of those fancy schmancy zen fountains. 
Namaste. I don't know how you're doing this, but something's coming out. <sighs> All right. I'm ready to share. Whoopee! I'm all boots. We were on a trip for field day. A holiday where kids gather to go look at a field. I saw a group of bullies going to town on a poor, defenseless spider ant. And if there's one thing I hate, it's bullies. What did you do? What I always did. I got mad. Only this time, I wasn't just mad. This time, I was so angry, I activated my hover chair's mecha mode. In hindsight, it was a smidge of an overreaction. But once I had those bullies in my sight, the rage, it carried me inexorably towards a conclusion I didn't yet know to dread. Caught up in my anger, I launched my... A mecha rocket freeze punch! Um, no, not at all. Neither did that poor spider ant. In fact, it sort of set off what I'd later call my big murder whoopsie. I hit those suckers so hard, they're flying through the air, already dead, and they hit a nearby sitting tank of field gas. What's field gas? Gas for the field. The better question is, what was it doing sitting there full that afternoon when the field should have been gassed up already? Anyways, these guys hit the tank and it's a small explosion. More people died and they weren't even bullies. I couldn't believe it. And that's when I saw the answer. It was so obvious, right in front of my face, surrounded by other possible options. The water tower! But instead of putting out the fire like it was supposed to do, it just made things worse. Water spreads fire when the original source is oil. Fuel gas being oil. I know that now! The buildings and train station and passing train around the field all went up! More lives lost. I was just trying to help. I would call this my somewhat bigger murder whoopsie. First the bullies, then the field gas explosion. Now I'd been betrayed by water? There was just so much destruction, so much death. I was trapped in a cyclone of emotions, but what I felt most was embarrassed. Anyway, that's how I learned at a young age a painful truth. I am a monster. My inability to control my anger resulted in unimaginable destruction and death. I vowed then and there never to use mecha mode again, but of course that vow wasn't enough to save me from the worst punishment Promethea can lay on a person. Compulsory anger management. Ooh. Now that's a foopin' feeling! That's the key to Fran's family-friendly feeling foopin' Froggers. You've shared. Now, you can repair.
Go ahead, explore the space. After all, it's your space. Unholy evils that dwell in this Frogert. Delicious, right? So, are you in or are you out? Take your time, about 10 seconds worth of it. This was a trap. To emotionally devastate you, yes! <laughs> and it worked! <laughs> so does my freeze ray. Come by and thaw you out later. Nah, I won't. So, Octavio Solutions. Was that all your idea? Whatever you say will be immortalized in your super successful Dirty 30 profile. I had some help. <laughs> Just a nerdy sister and an angry woman in a average hair. Co-founders. Co-founders? <laughs> That's a strong word. But yeah, they're, they're co-founders. Hey, yo! This song is my jam! This party's a little dead. Totally dead. Why don't you and I head to the VVIP section? <laughs> There's a VVIP section? Here. The more successful you are, the weirdest stuff you're into. <laughs> no, 
Octavio, here in the VVIP section, you find refined recreations for the discerning entrepreneur. Care to stick your face in the belcher? An elite courtesy from the angel investor. Only 11 people in the world have enjoyed mouth gas from the Belcher. I'm not that into drugs, especially from amphibians I don't recognize. Strange. And all this time I thought you were cool. I mean, you are cool, aren't you, Octavio? I don't know if the angel investor would deign to meet someone who isn't cool. <laughs> Biv, Bivity Bifster. <laughs> I'm so cool that I'm above peer pressure. Why? Because I have no peers. My coolness is without equal. That's how cool I am. Economically cool! Oh. Sheesh. I still wish Anu and Brand were here to see how cool I am. Everyone is wearing masks. Are you sure they aren't here already? Good point. Anu, Fran, come try the Belcher. It's for VVIPs. You did it. You actually did it. Full stabilization readings, a perfect fusion reaction. The congripulizer is fully functional. And the best part is you did it without using the potassium magnesium channels. Absolutely brilliant. You truly have a mind unlike any other. Simply put, You've changed science forever. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Dar, this is your discovery, your hard work. Would you like to do the honors and activate the congripulizer for its first trial run? It would be my honor. She's heading to the observation room. <laughs> this kind of looks like a cage. <laughs> She's in the observation room. Is the observation room comfortable? I believe there's been a mistake. This is actually a cage. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We'll get right on. You're not doing anything. You put me in a cage. <laughs> Amazing. Dr. Dar figured it out. <laughs> okay. I think we're done here. Dr. Dar, thank you for your invaluable contributions. Where are you taking me? Bullies! They're all bullies! Stop applauding! It's patronizing! Woo! This party is hot! I should take my shirt off. Or we could go to the VVVIP room. The VVVIP room?
Welcome to the VVVIP Elite Gold Status Lounge. This isn't a VVVIP Elite Gold Status Lounge. This is a cage! <laughs> An exclusive cage. No! A cage cage! You tricked me! Don't think of it as tricked. In the business world, we... Well, <laughs> we also call it tricked. <sighs> is this because I didn't do the belcher? It certainly didn't help your case. But no. No, you were always going to end up here, Octavio. Let me out! Let me out! Anyone? Please help me! He tricked me! I'm a super successful Dirty 30! Ark? Anu? Oh, yes. Right there. Put your data right there. Inconsequential. I'm here now. It doesn't matter that you and your friends humiliated me in a sewer. It doesn't matter that I was fired for playing Bolander. If you have any hope of freeing your little friend, you must first defeat me. I'd prefer not to. <laughs> Luckily, I did not. Now, battle! Cause damn it anyway. Come here. Select your ball lander. Brick. Brick versus Moe. Ball lander. Fight. Mommy, I'm scared. The critical land ripping. The critical. Whoa, ah, critical hit. Super Bowl combo. Critical hit. Whoa. I won. Wait. I won! <laughs> Who's the best Vaultlander competitor in the galaxy? Brandy is! Eat it, you TD or trash! You can't have won. I was depending on this. I needed that W! Between you and me, pal, maybe it's time you got a new hobby. Maybe a new job with an employer that values you? Just food for thought, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Thanks. Maybe I'll, uh, catch you later? I hope not. Wow. Louis, wake up! 
I gotta yuck your yum. I apologize in advance. board of sensations. It was true bliss. Louis, no. No? Getting your fizz whistled isn't happy. It walks like happy, it talks like happy, you think if you drown in it your lungs would be filled with happy, but that ain't how it works. I am willing to find out. Lou, Louis, out of all the people you know, who has the highest likelihood of having their Conroy bumpest the most? Francine Miskowitz. And who's the unhappiest person you know? Anu. Second unhappiest. Octavia. Third. Francine Miskowitz. There you go. What happened while I was diverted? Oh. I relived my suppressed life-defining trauma, and then witnessed my own personal evil and all of its ugliness and terror. Oh, and I also milked a spider ant. To make yogurt. From your tone, I surmise this is not how yogurt is typically made. Look, the people here are bad. Very bad. We gotta go find our two dum-dums before they get themselves killed. Come on! What's up? Octavio, you too. We've got to get out of here. We've got to think of something, some way to break out. Or we could wait here for Fran. She could break these cages, no problem. Come on, Octavio. Stop waiting around for other people to solve your problems and start trying to solve them yourself. Dumb. 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 So dumb. Okay. I admit, I partied a little hard, but that's to be expected. I made Forge's super successful Dirty 30. Oh my god. Don't you get it? You didn't make that stupid list. It's just one more scam you fell for because reality won't enter your thick skull. That's why you're sitting in a cage. You never think things through, Octavio. Oh. Gosh, I'm so sorry. I must have mistaken you for someone who also got trapped in a cage! Listen, I... There you idiots are! I leave you alone for ten minutes, and you both get caught by TDR? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to freeze. You're not a threat. You two, drop your weapons! Loud and fast-like! I mean, soft and slow-like! You... you always mess that up! Not... now! Please, don't undermine me in front of the targets! Hey, I'm a threat! I may be stuck here, but not for long. Give me a minute. My entire body is a weapon. Then drop it! As you wish. Oi! Is that a weapon? No. no. Drop it anyway! Drop it! as easy as I expected it to be. <laughs> Aww, cute. Doesn't make a difference. You get over here and I'll put my fist through your... Oh, 
The company that made your chair? I acquired it ages ago. And I can control it, well, any way I please. And you can make the chair do fart noises. Hey, you want to talk to the guy in charge? I'm right here. <laughs> Here's how it is. Do as I say, or you, and obviously they, die. Now, the device, please. Oh, I won't be asking again, obviously. Make all the threats you want. You'll never... You have a gun. I have a gun. Now, device on the ground. Hands up. You motherfucker! <laughs> I'll also be taking your echo decks. Never! What's next? You gonna break Louie? Why? Would you even say that? No need. I think your robot friend will discover he left that little melding of the minds with some dirty data packets. Now that you mention it, some of the data I just exchanged was unscrupulous. It was all unprotected. They even used my back port. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I'm riddled with STDs. Software transmitted diseases. I need a moment to run diagnostics and swab my system. Really swab my system. Louis! This is your plan? Lock us in cages and hurt our feelings and give us diseases and uh, steal our invention and what? Mass produce it? That's not gonna work. We own the patent. <laughs> okay. You can laugh. But our investor isn't going to be too happy about this. The mystery caller who jumped in to bail us out of sink or swim has our backs. We may not know who they are exactly, but they're somewhere around here. And anyone that could just drop a few billion on us out of the blue, quite obviously, has a lot of resources that should not be crossed. And I'm just now realizing it's you. It's you're, you're the angel investor. And there it is. Well, golly, sure would be nuts if I just fought myself a rich to hit translator and funded my own competition. <laughs> Yuck. Wait. That box is the angel investor? Wow. Here's what happens now. Anu, you're coming with me. Kill the others. Ah. Kill the himbo last. He means the most to her. Wait, wait, wait. If you lay a hand on them, I won't tell you anything about the shard. What makes you think I need you? Well, see my steak. <laughs> what makes a cow poke like you think a gunslinger like me's got any more use for you than a grizzly bear's got for a unicycle in a river rapid? Ugh, I thought we fixed this auto-translate. The UI team is gonna pay for this. See, you don't even understand your own echo decks. You don't have a chance with the shard without me. If they die, I won't tell you a thing. You'll be stuck. Hmm. Actually, <laughs> never mind. No, I've just thought of a much better use for them. You've just earned yourselves front row seats to the hottest show in town. <laughs> Men, raise the curtain. It's showtime. Thrilled to see so many familiar faces here today. Shut up! Wainwright, Reese, Torg, 
Karagawa Senior Athena. Ah, oh, undoubtedly it was your communal sense of self-preservation that motivated you to be here this evening. Well, that and the fact that none of you would let the others get the competitive edge. But now, you ask yourselves, why am I here? And the answer is... a demonstration. <laughs> oh, I have gathered you together for a mercifully one-night-only opportunity. To merge with Tidior, or face your swift and utter annihilation. <laughs> See, since the beginning of civilization, uh, we have pioneered ways to hurt one another. From the stick to the stone, to the stick with a stone tied to the end of it, and onward throughout the ages, to the laser exploder, the rebel yell, and who can forget the iconic face melter? Hmm? <laughs> Each one a rung on the ladder toward power, a ladder that we all race to climb. But, Thanks to the research efforts of Tidior and a few very gracious volunteers. <laughs> Bring me the buffoon! That one. Ugh. Hey, good to see ya! How's it going? Got a new power suit? Hey, Reese. Hey, Honu, it's your old boss. Let's uh, network after this. Synergize, talk through some new invops. That's investment opportunities. Look, Tavio! <laughs> Gotta tell ya, not getting the best vibe from this being trapped on stage thing. You've been looking for me all over the city. Now you have me. Let them go and I'll. I'll tell you whatever you need. Hmm. Now, earlier I might have taken you up on that offer, but now, well, I have everything I need. <laughs> now, you may be aware of what the less imaginative among you have been calling green iridium. You've also likely heard by now that my pursuit of it is the entire reason for my invasion of Atlas and this planet. That shard before you is a crystal of such extreme rarity that only a privileged few have ever viewed with their own eyes. Well, at least until Dr. Dar showcased it and its incredible healing properties to the entire planet while begging for money on sink or swim. Begging? Like, no. But what Dr. Dar did not know was that the shard that she and her team of imbeciles had acquired was in fact the missing half of a true you. A second shard? This seems, and stop me if I'm being pessimistic, but not great. They're a set? Did we know they came in a set? Are they worth more money in a set? <laughs> oh, so much more. Hmm. And what the good doctor didn't show you, perhaps because she had no idea, was that the power of these shards can be wielded in more ways than one. Dangerous, yes? Don't worry, in line with her recent groundbreaking research with Iridium. Huh? Work that the world's biggest idiot discarded. Um, despite how loud that mustache is, Reese, you, you, you're on mute. As I was saying, Dr. Dar harnessed this most magnificent healing power with a simple, classic ray gun. Oh, we have her device here. The Hermes! Her name, not mine. Hmm. Hmm. Quaint, isn't it? Who'd have thought that the idiot CEO of Alice would overlook and cancel such a quaint little ray gun? It's not all my discovery. It was a group effort with my teammates, Octavio, Fran, and Lou. You're not doing us any favors here, Chief. This device harnesses, concentrates, and amplifies the shard's effects. Now, thanks to some experiments in our lab earlier, Dr. Dar helped us iterate on the idea a bit. <laughs> now, as I begin this demonstration, it is vital that you keep this back at the front of your minds. Tidior is in possession of the only two extant Anahadium shards in existence. Oh, oh, 
and deny my esteemed competition the demonstration that I promised them? Meh, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> As you are about to witness, the race to the top is over. I won! <laughs> now you have two choices. You can posture uselessly until I raise your company to the ground and strike your names from the history books, or B, accept defeat, merge your companies with TDR, keep your lives, and call me boss. Hmm? Go on, call me boss. <laughs> Go to hell! Scathing. Who's the boss? Suck it, Granny. Killed him, but he didn't give me what I wanted. Hmm. makes it simple to save a life. But the other makes killing on a massive scale as easy as breathing. See, with this simple process of rinse and repeat, you can, in fact, do far more than simply kill. You can obliterate even the most defiant spirit. Now, who's the boss? You're the boss. <laughs> and that is what I'm selling. God, forget about death. Death is so easy, so passe. I am marketing total, absolute submission. God, with these shards, I can take a city, a civilization, an entire planet, and bend it to its knees. <laughs> <laughs> Easy there, Chief. What is this? The shard! Retreat the shard! Criminals. Plunder. Holy... F f f f f 
Kill them all or face permanent termination! Ah! Here's an experiment. Let's turn Dr. Dar's healing device into a harming device. Hmm? Put Dr. Dar in the lab, put her idiot brother in a cell as leverage. As for the others? Incinerate them. Uh, do you mean that literally? Yeah, or, or is it like a poetic license? I do not care. That is the point, you incompetent buffoons. They are not worth my consideration. Just kill them. Yeah. All great stories must come to an end. And this one, uh, it's filled with blood, bullets, death, heartache, and a smidge of redemption. Like one big old lasagna from hell. It's not looking good for our heroes, who had each been fooled and seduced from their own egos. The Dingus fancied himself a celebrity. The nerd believed she was saving the world with all her science. And the rage monster finally dealt with her. What's the clinical phrase? Old crap. Too late they discovered there's no such thing as a free lunch or a multi-million dollar investment from a mysterious benefactor. Coldwell had them and the whole world in her clutches. The rage monster set for execution. The Dingus imprisoned and out of Echodex service. The nerd dissected and discarded. And Promethea, the first target in Tedior's gambit for galactic takeover. What can I say? Fate has no patience for character arcs. And sometimes, the people with the alien-powered super weapons intent on destroying the world win. Not every great story has a happy ending. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, the lasagna.
Fong! Beautiful Fong! I'm so happy to see you. Jabber. This lab's your whole world, isn't it? I am not a jabber. I'm a scientist with a degree and books. I think someone needs to be tickled. Fong, no, I do not need to be tick tickly 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 too. <laughs> <laughs> It's a tickle train. Choo choo. <laughs> I've evaded your probing tickles. Hey, don't be scared, little jabber. I'm not. Okay. I'm a little scared. Can we just stop and discuss this like adults? Ah, oh, cute little jabber thinks she's talking. I am talking. 24 hours. 24 hours to make this work. Wait. I remember this. This was the day... I was sleep-deprived, running on stale cereal and old coffee. I hadn't bathed in weeks. I leave for a minute and you're fooling around? Completely useless. Ah, <sighs> Is that really what I said to her? It's not what you said. But it is how you sound it. What's the difference? That's the right question, but not for me to answer. After all, this is your mind laid bare. What, I wonder, are you trying to show yourself? I want to go back to normal. My reality, right now! Then take us there. This construct is one of your own making. What do you mean? Uh, I don't have time for this. None of this makes any sense! Consider, Dr. Dar, that the answers you are seeking lie outside the bounds of what is logical. We don't have time for this! We need to stop Susan Caldwell. Isn't that why we fused in the first place? To stop her? No! Come back! What the hell is a jabber doing in my lab? You know my feelings on animal testing. Release it! I tried, but this one keeps coming back. I think it loves to work the wheel. You're free to go, Jabber. I'm not a Jabber. I'm you. Metaphysically. But if we work together, we can... You're right. She does want to work the wheel. Let's begin. Before we do, I thought we could grab dinner in the mess hall first. Take a break. I don't know. Talk about non-work stuff. I'm sort of having a hard time. Exactly right, Fong. We've wasted enough time. Start it up. You weren't really listening to her. Signal moderate, temperature delta 10 degrees, power shift 2 joules. Not good enough. I need an equilibrium. Increase speed. Before we do, can I... I am pitching tomorrow. I know. Increase speed. You could do things differently. Stop. Listen. She isn't working. Uh, why won't she work? Anu. My mother. Today is the first anniversary of her passing. Oh, Fong. I had no idea. I had no idea. This isn't how you acted back then. You had 
so obsessed with changing the world, you've lost sight of everything, everyone else. What good is saving the world if you stopped caring about the people in it? I'm sorry, Fong. I'm sorry, Fong. <laughs> What is all this? Some kind of twisted test? Why are you doing this? Our consciousnesses are joined, that much is true. I have been with you ever since we first connected to my Iridian prison, but this... You are doing this to yourself. It's... Fascinating. Why me? Because you can't do it to anyone else. No, I mean... Why me? Why did you connect with me? Ah... Something about your nervous system makes you very compatible. It could be your desire to heal the world. A thirst for justice. The fact you harbor an ancient wound doesn't matter. I'm not looking a gift host in the mouth. You are my opportunity to survive and reconnect. I must take it. If I'm a host, that makes you a parasite. That is cruel and hurtful. I'm an ascended being. I'm above this. I'm above this. You said I'm doing this to myself? Yes. I've healed you physically over and over. Now you seem to be channeling my energy inward. But why would I? <laughs> you alive? I can poke you with an electrified stick, but... You could just tell me. Well, that's very rude, but also sufficient. Why does it matter if I'm alive? Don't ask me the deep questions. I'm just a guard. All I know is that I'm supposed to log on my timesheet whether or not you're alive and which day you stop being alive. And today, you're alive. Whoopee. Alive. Dead. Alive. Dead again. Alive again. Dead again. Again. Alive! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. That was a hell of a demonstration. You don't have to, uh, talk about it. Nothing to talk about. Good. You know what the worst part of it is? Uh, no. I don't actually care. I mean, I feel like you're under the impression I do. That, 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 that was a mistake. A terrible mistake. That I'm a failure. That every dream I ever had, even if they were stupid, they're all dead now. But that's uh, all in the past, right? You gotta stay present, uh, mindful. How do you feel now? I'm worth less than pretty much everyone else. I'm gonna be honest, this is not what I was expecting from this shift. Uh, I sort of thought you'd be like all the other prisoners, you know, trying to finagle your way out of here, or to bribe me, or... Uh, what are you doing? Okay, wow, that's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna find something else to do. Um, pee. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go pee. Any specifics as to the method of dispatch, ma'am? What? No! Never call me directly again. Sorry. Uh, can I can I text? No. Bollocks. Hope you're not expecting this to be quick. You killed a lot of our friends. You don't even remember doing it, do you? Figures. You're not taking this seriously enough. You murdered our friends. 
And now you're going to die. Stop it! You're ruining this for me. Whatever. Shut up. You're gonna be so executed. Ta-da! Had it built in case you fell for the little investment offer. Now you get to die here. Any fun? That's right. Drink it in. You're gonna kill me in a fake Froger shop. Okay, y'all are nerds. <laughs> That's cute. Almost sounds like you believe yourself. <laughs> I had to see this with my own eyes. Fran Miskowitz, finally beaten and bested. <laughs> Not so tough now, are you? Oh, what? Are you gonna try and freeze me again? My sisters were right about you. Hurry not, Will Croft One, for you shall be joining her soon. Wow. Never did get past those anger problems, did you? After all this time and all that effort, where are you? Right back where you started. Alone. Angry. In a lousy little froyo shop. I thought it'd be fun to watch you die, but now I realize it'd just be... pathetic. Toodles, Francine. I hope it hurts. A lot. It's a TVO. Hover chair, remember? CEO Coldwell sent us all the apps to control it. How many times you gotta learn this lesson? Shh, 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 Louis, kill them! I cannot. There is no contract for. K k k k can you at least hurt them? Hurt? One either kills or they don't. Assassination bots do not, as you say, half ass it. What good are you? Oh. I know what he's good for. Well, well. Well, 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 well. If it isn't my old friend, Octavio. Uh, this is the part where you say some stupid made up version of my name, and then I come back with an even more clever comeback. To assert my superiority. Sure, bro. Wow, that was our thing. Are you not even surprised to see me? Have you thought about me at all? I killed your sister. <laughs> Ah, 
still mostly like to shoot things. Problem is, you brought natural decks to my gun first! See what I did there? I shot your precious echo decks. Because I could. Because that's the kind of gun I am! I'm a renegade. I don't care. I'm gonna be dead soon anyway. Don't be depressed! Don't ruin it for me! Here you are. Locked up. Precious Echo Deck shattered. You're defenseless. And now I can watch you rot like a pile of old beans. Pile of old beans? From what? From everything! Example? Well, I don't know! There's so many things! I can't think of anything specifically! If you can't even think of one thing... Whoa. Maybe you should let him bounce back a little. I mean, look at him. Here. Sniff this scented candle. Nice. I also have a sandalwood, which I find very relaxing. Yeah! Nobody asked for your stupid candle! Why can't you just put me out of my misery so we can get this over with? Because, you insolent twerp, killing you is the last thing I want to do. Even if I ignored Susan's orders to keep you alive as leverage, death's too easy! Whoa, whoa! Hold on! What? What? Why are you suddenly so perky? Is it from my scented candle? Susan could have killed me, but she didn't. She needs me to keep being a pawn in her little game, and I'm only good for leverage while I'm alive. <laughs> she doesn't care about me, but she needs me. Well, what did he do? Wow, correct! Exactly one person in the entirety of the six galaxies gives exactly one stag as to whether or not you live or die. Because you may hold some tangential value as leverage over your uncooperative and super valuable sister. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Congratulations! Now, back to my ultimate revenge. Oh, oh. oh. Situation, everybody back off! I mean it! Hands up and get out of my way, or I get it! Put me down right frickin' now! You want me to pull the trigger? No! I'll do it, man! I'll pull the trigger! You slapped me! <sighs> that's right, that's what I thought. Deactivate the bars! Deactivating bars! You! Get in there! You know what? Good for you. <gasps> um... How do I... Button on your left. <laughs> now who's the boss? You are! <laughs> and... Contract uploaded. Louis! Louis! What did you do? Oh, we just uploaded a bounty contract and that red laser. Hello! Is your name Red Laser? Please confirm your name is Red Laser. Come on! Robots are supposed to be smart! 
you'll be busy for a long time. All right, let's smash this one with a thick, blunt object. We're gonna kill you. Hurry up and find something heavy. I want to catch, sink, or swim tonight. You sit tight, beefcakes. She, uh, seems to be getting mad. I think it's because I called her Beefcakes. <laughs> well, if that's got her upset, imagine how she'd react if she knew what the boss was doing to Octavio. What is your boss doing to Octavio? Aha. Uh -huh. You can't flee forever, Red Laser. What is your boss doing to Octavio? That's as fast as you can go. Shut up! It's heavy. If you do anything to Octavio, I swear. You'll get chopped by this big axe? Great, that's what I was thinking too. Say hi to your Helen friends. I mean, say hi to your friends in hell. <laughs> this is our last trip to get proper angry, baby! Hell with it! Why not? If I'm gonna die, it'll be the way I lived. Mad as hell. Susan frickin' Coldwell is still drawn breath. Yeah! That sucks! My freaking friends are captured! Just when I was beginning to actually make some friends. Yeah! All oh, that sucks! Makes me angry! of keeping my cool. I get yanked off the wagon by a bunch of corporate douchebags. Get mad! Eliminated. Contract complete. What? Nothing. Yeah! Good, 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 yeah! Yeah. No. I have had enough sponsor bot advice. Ah! Okay, I'm not a jabber. That's an improvement. What in the... what? Am I? Octavio? Oh, this is bad. This is bad! Maybe I should go back to being a jabber. Oh, the sweet comfort of being a jabber. Stop! Get a hold of yourself, Arnie. Uh, uh, uh. This is your consciousness. Exert control. Take charge. Demand. Demand. I'm going to demand. You can't stop these pythons, baby. Yeah? Yep. 
I'm definitely Octavio. Your other half. That seems like a stretch. If he were my other half, wouldn't he understand me better? Understand you or reflect you? What's the difference? When we fused, the only thought in your mind was to save him. Of course. You were being selfish. What? No. How? Because without him, there'd be no one left who gets you. Where the heck have you been? You're supposed to be packed by now. Jeez. Do I really sound like that? I sound... I sound so overbearing, like an alarm with a broken snooze button. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going. What? I'm not going to Atlas with you. I heard you. I'm just trying to fathom how moronic you're acting. I wanted to talk to you about it. There's nothing to talk about. I'm giving you a golden ticket off this dumpster fire of a planet, and you're squandering it. Oof. That's harsh. Atlas is not my golden ticket. I knew it. You're too scared to leave the nest. Still aimlessly goofing around like a teenager. Do you remember what he said next? I don't know what you're still doing here. You don't even know what you're still doing here. You're right. There's nothing to talk about because you refuse to listen. I'll listen when you have something to say worth hearing. Okay, that didn't come out right. No wonder I don't remember what he said. I was too focused on convincing him that what I wanted was right for both of us. It caused a rift. Now isn't the time for debate. I bought your ticket. You're going. End of discussion. I'm not leaving everything because you get a fancy job at Atlas. It's the chance of a lifetime. Yeah, your lifetime. I have dreams of my own. Like what? I'm going to start a business. <laughs> I never took him seriously. Not even a little. <laughs> really? I have the work ethic, the street smarts, the connections. Wake up, Octavio! You're living a delusion! No! Okay. Look at this logically. You need some income, right? Now that I'm running my own lab, I can get you an entry-level job at Atlas. Most likely something in sanitation or food services. Maybe a secretary job if you can answer calls like an adult. Why didn't he want to go with you, Anu? It's not the self-made businessman track, but it's better than you lying in a ditch. Octavio made tough choices to survive. Choices I didn't approve of. I always focused more on his faults than his aspirations. This is my path. My destiny is here. Do you have any concrete, logical, evidence-based rationale for that? Didn't think so. Please, I don't want to see any more. Why? Because what I did next broke us. This is my home. Fine. Stay here then. You belong with the trash! God, I am so embarrassed that you're my brother! There's nothing intelligent, ambitious, or worthwhile in you. I've wasted so much time and energy protecting you. For nothing. I'm done. After that, we always felt separated. You two can never undo that rift. Never unmake that harm. No. But we can still reach each other. Impossible. This is your past. Then I have to step outside the past and view it. Compassionately. My mind, my rules.
Now, let's bridge this divide. I was so fixated on who was right, as if it could only be one of us. Re-evaluate my beliefs. I originally believed he didn't value my opinion. Now, though, I'm seeing he values it a lot. <sighs> Try and see his point of view, even if I don't agree with it. Try and understand how he feels. No matter what, we're both always doing our best. That's enough and all anyone can ask for. You've constructed... A bridge of empathy. A cute trick for us humans, if we do the work. Sis? Octavio, I... What I said before, it wasn't true. But... I think I finally understand. All you've wanted from me was... Reframing your regrets. Empathy for the past. Very curious. To be heard. I hear you. I didn't respect you enough to let you make your own decision. And it was me who was scared. By holding on, I was holding you back. You've seen how far I've come? You really can succeed on your own. I'm so proud of you. And I'm so sorry. You may be fixed here. Out there, you're still broken. Yes. I suppose I am. Wait. I understand now. Why I'm trapped here. Yes. Now, function. Over! What the... What an interesting turn of events. Your rage has reached such critical levels that SponsorBot's only recourse is to turn into a killing machine and murder you. SponsorBot knows you better than anyone. It can anticipate your every move. Might I suggest a new combat style? Perhaps something turn-based. Crap! You may have defeated those guards, but you cannot defeat your own anger! Oh yeah! It's all coming down in the countdown! I've had just about enough of you! Then prove it! Unless you're too angry, of course! Enough talk! Let's get rowdy! Inevitably, your temper would be the end of you! I'm just cutting to the chase! Hildor 2! Maybe I'd have an easier time controlling my anger if your judgy ass weren't around at all! Better keep attacking me or else you might accidentally self-reflect. Come on! Come on! 
There's got to be a better way of dealing with this. It can't just come down to never be angry or get consumed by it. That's some bulwark. Shut up! It's all or nothing! Stop looking for options! I'm sick of being judged. And I'm sick of being angry. And I'm sick of you! They can't kill me. Famous last words. Yo, listen up! This is a hostage situation. No one move. No one even think about moving. Um, Brock? Is he just holding you to his head? Just shoot him! Don't you think I would have stopped that already? He can't. And neither can you. Or Susan Goldwell will incinerate all of you. She does that, right? Oh, yeah! So, uh, no one move, or I sh shoot me with this Brock. You think he's bluffing? I don't know. I was about to take lunch. Make no mistake, chumps and chumpettes. I will shoot myself as many times as necessary until I'm too dead to keep shooting. I... It's crazy, man! Who's doing? Okay. Okay, what are your demands? My demands? Oh, yeah, my demands. I've been thinking about so many demands. Tell me where Anu is. Uh, the doctor from the tea talks Oh, she's in a secret restricted area. Which secret restricted area? Um, we don't know. It's, it's a secret. Oh. The logic's pretty solid. All right, well, my demands are met. I'm getting the hell out of here. Hold it! Why don't you turn around and put the gun on the ground? Or I'll blow my brains all over this hallway! You're not the only one who can play hostage. You think I won't? You think I won't? Do you think we won't? Just shoot me! It isn't Bivington Bradwick. Mr. VIP himself. Or was it V-VIP? 
I lost track after you put me in a cage! Listen, I know things got weird at that party. Between you and me, Susan really knows how to kill a vibe, you know? <laughs> and me! She killed me! Like a bunch of times! At the teen talk! I saw! I was like, what? What? <laughs> you know? Man! I mean, Susan hired me to trap you, but that was just so not namaste. So I totally get that you're feeling a little... like so many feelings, but mainly feeling a little... Pissed? Sure. Look, you've got the wrong impression of me. I first thought you were a fame-thirsty idiot. But look at everything you've done here. That's brains. Literally, brains. You don't know who I am, where I've been, the things I've seen. I was in prison. For 30 minutes. Ugh. That's amazing. Like, that's the kind of experience that can really impress Silver Spoon investment brats. Like you? Oh. Not unlike me. <sighs> Look, you've been a pathetic nobody hustler for your whole life. You're so low on the ladder, Susan Coldwell's only keeping you alive as leverage. She doesn't care about your potential. But I do. Put down the talking gun and let me make you a superstar, Octavio. Let me make you a real VIP. Nah, I'm good. You hate me more than Dickinson, right? Right? checking this wall directory, but every room looks the same. Oh yeah? Tell me about it. I get lost here all the time. Wait a minute. We're not on the same side. Don't move. Frogger flavor calming technique. <laughs> Peanutty buddy. <laughs> Cuckoo coconut. <laughs> Razzmatazz radish. Right! Right, that flavor was discontinued. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm Octavio. <laughs> You're angry. <laughs> but I accept you. <laughs> huh? Huh? We boning? What? 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 Where's Anu? After your horrendous torture, Susan mentioned taking your sister to a lab. Is that where you're going? I was going... Uh, uh, you know, I don't know where I was going. I sort of picked up this gun and walked around. Well, let's just kick down every door until we find her. Door number 108. Where's my sister? Uh, this is Susan's office. Hot. Diggity donuts. Yeah. Did that improve your mood? A little. Well, spread out! There's gotta be something in here that'll tell us where to find Anu. Sure thing, but before we do that... Maybe lower the gun. Come on! Louis, guard the door while we look around. Affirmative. I'll stay here and summon the guards with my mind. You can do that?
I forgot. Humans are slow. Louis, can you plug yourself into a terminal here? Why would I do that? So you can access the mainframe and find Anu? Oh, so you think just because I'm a robot, I can plug myself into a terminal? We're both machines. Machines love plugging themselves into machines. That's... I, I didn't mean... A little reductive, don't you think? It's these ignorant, anti-mechanistic attitudes that hurt robots everywhere. I'm sorry. I never meant to offend you. It's okay. I, these confrontations just tend to drain my battery. I'm going to go plug myself into the first socket I see. Crumble you like. Wow! This office is amazing! This is your first time in Susan's office? Oh, no, I mean, it's amazing how this office never changes. Because I spend so much time in here. <laughs> because I'm such close personal friends with Susan Goldwell. We, uh, we, we have a time share together. It's, 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 it's really exclusive. Um, uh, we go together like. Is this Susan's Equidex? The Supreme Deluxe Model! Ultra thin titanium bezel, 12 cameras, long lasting iridium battery. This isn't even in stores yet! Ark, let me just try one app. Ooh, TDR Friend Maker. I wonder what it does. Uh, we don't have time for you to make friends. Let me at least try one button. If I can find a terminal, I can probably track Anu through the surveillance system with this baby. Get a load of big suits. What an ugly mug. Would be a real shame if someone broke her face. A real shame. Did I do that? <laughs> Let's see what we got on your background, Fran. Most likely to burst the blood vessel. Impressive. True. Uh, most likely to pork the principal. Less impressive. But true. Um, I think we're done. Who wants to give me an oil bump? Any ideas on how we can find Anu? Yeah. Shh. Computer! Find Anu. Find Anu. That's all I got. I'm still a fan of the shooting you all in the head idea. 
Base directory. Where's Anu? The rat goes. It's a decoy computer. <laughs> no, no, no. No button tells me what to do. What are you, the goddess of Mount Olympus? Ah. Ooh, I can scrub the surveillance system and find Anu. Password protected? Of course. Just guess it! That never works. She likes money. Try money. That's stupid! Try money! It didn't work. Needs a number. Try money one. Forget it. Try millions of money. Big box. Bitch of box of bags of moolah. Dough. Lots of dough. Cashola. Give me moolah. Seven, seven, seven. I don't know why. Just like seven. Let's see where we can dig up an old rock. He's writing a book? It's my memoir. Eat, pray, gun. One sentient firearms journey through life, love, and spiritual fulfillment. And how he became better for it. Now he shot a lot of stuff along the way. That's a really long title. I'm looking for constructive notes. Okay. Bigger the statue, the bigger the butt. A vault lander? Who would leave a vault lander lying on? You fell right into my perfectly laid trap. No, I didn't. You fell from an air duct. Did I? Yes. Well, now you have to hang out with me. Because of the trap, that's the rule. Hey, I know that weirdo. He's obsessed with... Vault Landers. And we're playing. And if I win, you have to live in the air duct and breathe asbestos. You've been breathing asbestos? Let's play! Select your Vault Lander. Mordecai, Mordecai versus Handsome Jack, Vaultlanders, fight!
Mommy, I'm scared! Wow! Look at that Dredical! Toasty! Dredical! Fault land him! You won! Most impressive. You have learned all I can teach you. You didn't teach me anything. And now, I shall disappear into the unknown. What are you talking about? Are you trying to crawl in the air duct? You can't see! It's too smoky! <sighs> All right, let me just hack into the terminal with Susan's fancy new Equidex. No, wait. My fancy new Equinex. So sleek, so powerful, so expensive. The ultimate symbol of a true VIP. Just holding it, I feel like a boss. <laughs> Such a boss. Such a boss. I'm a boss. I'm forgetting myself, I need to hack this thing. Curse you, sexy Equinex. All right, now with Susan's firewall, this could take I'm in! <laughs> Lightning fast! Never leave me, fancy Aquodex. Never. What are you doing? <sighs> it's mine! You can't tear us apart! It's not my type. We're here for the terminal. Right. The terminal. Looks like they're keeping Anu in a lab. Here, Sector Zeta. That's an Omega. That's what I said. Are we ready to rescue Anu and get the fudge out of here? It's hero time. You said I'm fixed here, but I'm not. And I can't be who I want to be out there until I make peace with who I really am and what I've done. And I'm starting with you. You told everyone on Promethea you took a job at Atlas so you could change the world. I wanted to be seen changing the world. I never pondered what that actually meant. You can adapt, Anu. Grow. I always saw that. Which is why I think I hired you. Or why I think you think you hired me. Right. Exactly. But the truth is, I took the job because I was desperate for approval and acceptance. My acceptance? Yes. In a way, I admired you. You're a hero, an entrepreneur. Keep going. The people you deem intelligent? Did you really need me to tell you you're intelligent? No. I always knew that. I just didn't trust it. Then, do you need me? A manifestation of your boss to tell you to trust yourself? No. I could do that on my own. You're seeing yourself more clearly now. She's resisting the incision. Increase 
the temperature. 4,000 degrees. You're a with your heart in the right place. Just remember to breathe. Well, can we just cut to the heart? This wall is a construct of my own mind. It's just a mental barrier. Lilith face walks, I face walk, transitive property. I'm like Lilith. Whoa! <sighs> oh. <sighs> My guts undefiled by a rapturous load. <sighs> you don't have to talk like that here. Say what you mean. You killed me. It was self-defense. It was murder. I never intended. Intention? The violence remains. I thought darkness only lurked in other people, bad people. But it's also within me. You're proof of that. You reflect. Give your sin meaning. That is courage. Walk this. I always dreamed of being a siren. And this is a lucid dream space. Maybe I can also. Face grasp. You're no better than that Susan Coldwell, if you ask me. You're both playing with, with power you don't understand. You're right. I had the device with me when I... Brutally killed me to save your own skin? I could have used it to heal you, but... I didn't. I prioritized saving myself. I valued my own life above yours. I'm a total hypocrite. It's Promethea. I would have done the same. But what if we lived in a world where we didn't have to? That's a lot of work. You really up for that? Yes. But I can't do it alone.
Okay. Uh, no platforms. Nothing to grab. I guess the only thing I could possibly do is... <gasps> Ooh, okay, Anu. You got this. Oh. In here, you're a siren. In here, you can... No matter how high-minded, are the same. You're all selfish, vainglorious, incapable of stopping the pain all around you. True. But that makes us capable of something else. What's that? Compassion. Reflection and ultimately, change. with this device as the solution. So obsessed with solving the universe's pain, I didn't even see the pain right in front of me. over this woman. She, or what's inside her, is the most valuable object in the universe right now. Far more valuable than you. Do I make myself clear? Clear. Uh -huh. I am going to the bridge to determine why in the seven hells somebody prematurely launched our ship back into space. How your pistol whip. Really wish you didn't demonstrate with me. On you! Free, I see! Free at last! Yippee skippy kaye, mother truckers! Leave, lady, alone! Scanning, you are so lucky I don't know your face or name. I don't need a name to knock this one's head off. You want a death day? Have an bullet for a pretty picnic! Hiya! What the? Using me as a means to save your sister, Octavia? I wasn't. I was trying to... You invaded my personal space, which is 4.8 centimeters from my metallic surface. Oi! Sister! Yeah, yeah. You jackasses weren't holding me prisoner because I'm important. You just knew Anu wouldn't want anything to happen to her brother. Laugh it up! Octavia doesn't matter! Ha ha ha! So funny! Uh, something you want to talk about, Ock? Don't care about Ock! Care about pretty lady Anu! Show her Vaultlander and keep away from Thugman! Then you can care about her from back there, friendo. My sister's gotten the crap kicked out of her enough. She doesn't need anything else. Brother? Friend! Friend? It would appear this TDR guard is previously acquainted with Anu. And may also be a psycho. Not psycho anymore! TDR guard now! Why would a psycho bandit sign up to be a corporate foot soldier? Free gym membership! Great! Awesome! 
Let's get her out of here. Great! Awesome! Came here to rescue her also. Thought you were trying to kill her. Glad we clear up comical misunderstanding. Yeah, not that comical. It was a little bit comical. Anu! <gasps> you can help me up now. How do you two know each other? Long story. Short version! We are friends! Maybe more! Very will they, won't they? I see. Have you two had a uh, mouth to mouth? No. Why? No reason. <sighs> You were comatose for a while. Is your brain malfunctioning? I had such a cool dream. I was a siren. Now, headache. That is not healthy. Anu? Anu, wait. Who are we dealing with? Is it Anu or that shard spirit thing? Huh. Is it me? Is it me? Is it me? <laughs> Stapleface knows this feel. We can't actually measure human consciousness. So there's no way to be sure. Arguably, the fact that I can self-identify means I do exist. But you know, even low-level AI. Yeah, okay, it's you. We get it. to know who puts a button like that on their echo decks okay okay that's on me i'll take the l but i can fix this there's definitely an unlaunched button here and viola new idea we all find escape pods immediately don't have to tell me twice i hate space and i hate this corporate dump i'm not leaving <laughs> Hilarious bit. Woman who won't leave. <laughs> so good. Okay, let's go. We can't. Why the hell not? We sure as mother can. You find an escape pod, get in the escape pod, and escape. At this range, Susan can fire her doomsday weapon at Promethea. We've got to stop her. We're the only ones with a chance. The tiniest chance. Still a chance. If we do this, can I still punch Susan in the face? Yes. Promise. I promise. I also promise! Uh, thanks. When you say Doomsday Machine... A larger, more powerful iteration of our own device that some cool, but not intimidatingly cool scientist kinda, sorta, tricked me into creating for her. A big, giant, humongous, super gun. Super device. Actually, yeah, in this case, it's a gun. Okay. Okay. How do we stop her? In Atlas, we operated our highest level weapons from the ship's bridge. It also controls ship's flight path! Due to your training, leave fun fact in staple base brain. Our mission is clear. Storm the bridge. Kill! Or knock out Susan and return these shards where they belong. It sounds like the perfect plan. Except the bridge is the most fortified section of the ship, defended by swarms of TDO guards, drones, turrets, exploding toilets, and filthy data ports that lie about their age and don't text you back. I'm just guessing about the last one. Don't worry about getting to bridge. Plan. I hate this plan. <whistles> oh, 
What's uh, going on here? How approach, lady? Did you just call me lady? Direct orders, remember? Direct orders! What orders? Orders from who? Boss Crone! Fast, fast! Take friends to bridge! Friends! Prisoners! <laughs> who are prisoners? <laughs> but also friends. Wait, so they're... your prisoners? Each other's friends? And you have direct orders to take them to the bridge? Y yes Okay, move now. Hold her right there. I'm calling this in. Nobody move. We probably should not let them call this in. Now we're definitely calling this in. Emergency lockdown protocols are bust. Well, I'm out of ideas. It will take sophisticated technology to interface to demagnetize the seal. What about beep boop beep? You know, beep boop beep, your echo decks. You think beep boop beep is a sound for my echo decks? Just use your echo decks. Oh yeah, I can do that. I can honestly say, this is not how I saw my week going. You and me both. I suppose it'll be over soon. One way or the other. Hopefully a good way. Not the other. I mean badly. I hope it doesn't end badly. When this is all over, we're gonna celebrate. Yes, we'll do something really fun. Different. Something special. We'll go for Froyo. We'll go for Froyo. That door open yet? Now you don't just go ahead and hold their horses while I suss this people out. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't help but turn on Susan's voice disguise. It's a hit and a half. <laughs> Octavio! to call friends. She uses it to make and remake friends. Don't you see? What? I'm still hip. I still get technology. I wonder if I can customize the settings and give it a dark theme. Just use your stupid echo dumper. Friend code scanned. Don't look at my code. I brought an Echodex to a gunfight. Why can't I shoot you? Why can't I shoot you? 
Your safety is permanently on. I'm a gun that can't shoot! Technically, you're not even a gun. Teteor doesn't register you as a weapon anymore. Maybe don't shoot people. <laughs> Enjoy your life as a paperweight. <laughs> now that we're finally about to face the boss of Tedior, I've been processing our friendships. There they are! Anu, get the next door. On it! When I first met you all, I believed you were all disgusting, inefficient sacks of flesh, walking animals with no purpose, other than converting food to feces. Great story, Lee. Fran, close the door! Well, that's no good. Die, door! that voice. anxiety-ridden corporate chill. You were afraid of your own shadow. Oh, on, get the next door. Why do I always get the hard ones? There has to be a weakness here somewhere. I'll find it. Now you're a heroic example to humanity, courageously standing up to evil, even if it means you'll definitely, absolutely die. Goggle, goggle! Why did I just say that? Slay, queen. Scanning. Scan complete. It's a door. I know! I need an opening before we all die! Uh, increase magnification. Zooming for clues. Sometimes the best way to find things is to make everything bigger. Well said. <laughs> Why am I talking to goggles? Because a good friend can be right in front of your eyes. Like me. I'm right in front of your eyes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Zooming, enhancing, composition analysis, door composed of 64% door fibers, 35% various door materials, 1% door handle. Not helpful. You try being scanning goggles. Increase magnification! I'm zooming. I'm zooming. That's all you want from me. Zooming. Enhancing. Yes! Now zoom and enhance! Zooming. Enhancing. Magnification at atomic level. Oh, look at all the little door molecules. Can we break through them with hard enough hits? You want to hit the molecules? They didn't do anything to Increase the zoom! We need flaws, gaps, inconsistencies, anything! Zoom all the way in! Affirmative. Approaching maximum zoom. We're zooming where no goggles has zoomed before. Zooming. Enhancing. 
magnification at the quantum level. Warning, things are about to get weird. I've seen weird before. At this point, nothing can surprise Timmy. Iridium particles permit him to exist in multiple dimensions at the quantum level. He's trying to say something. What's he saying? Scanning. Who? Huh? Pull Van der Waals force through a quantum state? Pull apart covalent bonds from the door molecules? Pull! The door handle? That was my next guess. The door handle. <sighs> Tell no one about this. I can't promise that. Guys! I just opened the extremely <laughs> difficult complicated door! Face. You can fix this, right? You can make her okay? I don't know. I, I can try. No. No time. <laughs> time is delicious. <laughs> Bellissima. No. I can fix this. It could be fast. I just need... Come on! Short spirits, you owe me! Ark! We gotta go! Shh, 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 shh. It's my death day. Went that way. Of course they went that way. It doesn't fork off anywhere. There's no windows or doors. It's literally the only direction they could go. Once again! I feel like you are criticizing me in a high pressure situation. We will discuss this later, Daryl. You know what, bringing this up with Eleanor. Don't you bring this up with Eleanor! <laughs> Son of a skag! Son of a skag! A fluid dynamic thermolock. I I've read about these, but I never thought I'd actually see one in the wild. A fluid dewy what now? This is bleeding edge security. By using a series of hydraulic pumps, the door's lock must be depressurized by balancing a precise volume of liquid at a perfect temperature. It's adjusted by dispensing viscous door fluid from those handles. But with this many variables, the number of permutations is... 4,088,300,031. No, wait. 32. I forgot to round the decimal. This isn't even fair. This is impossible. Boring. Frozen yogurt. You kids. Stand back! Mama Fran's about to pour the most important yogurt of her life.
must punch! Self-control in an out-of-control world. And I just made the perfect cup of yogurt. My goodness. You are majestic, Francine. When we first met, early data concluded that you were in the throes of a midlife crisis, sublimating rage-induced insecurities into mediocre desserts. But now, I see you are comfortable and confident, being much, much, much older than everyone else. Oh, saved by the gunfire! <laughs> I love being in danger with you all. There they are. Just like I said. Someone's gotta close that door! What? Really? Wow. Listen, I don't know how viable this plan is, or where this crazy train is going. All I know is I don't trust that yard. You shouldn't either. I have it under control. This union is perpetual. Have you ever thought about breaking up with that thing? Out of the question! It heals wounds! It brought me back from the dead, for pity's sake! me old-fashioned, but I don't love this alien consciousness living in your mind, roommate. It's fine. Fine, 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 fine. Look inside. Do you even know, truly know, where the shard ends and Anu begins? The longer the shard lives in you, the more it changes you. You do see that, right? Of course I see that! I conversed with the shard deeply. If you experienced what I experienced, Ditch it. Call it an experiment. Life without the shard. Without the shard, we'd be nothing. That's not true. No company, no capital, no future for either of us. We need the shard, and it needs us. You're irrational. You're delusional. I'm your sister. I know what's best for you. You said those words to me way back when. They were harsh, but I know they were with love. So on. You're irrational. You're delusional. I'm your brother. I know what's best for you. I have a clear shot. Focus. Relax your shoulders. Breathe out and squeeze. You are micromanaging! Lovely. What I'm trying to say is, I've learned something from each of you. Last but not least, friend Octavio. Octavio! Louis! You were always important to me. Can you get up? Negative. Sadly, your use for me ends here. That's it, I'm dragging him. Stop. Please. Listen. Because of my programming, I was required to kill. I was an assassination bot. But now, because of you, I can choose to save. I am a protector bot. And you just got L0U13. You've always been around. I cannot lose you. I won't. Grenade. They see. They see. Give me your answer. No. no.
Sorry about your friend, but it's nice to see my soldiers can hit something every once in a while. I certainly pay enough for them. <laughs> and now you're here, on my bridge, doing what? First attempt at a corporate takeover? A hollow, vainglorious attempt to save the world? <laughs> oh, you possess one of the most powerful objects in the known galaxies. But it doesn't negate one crucial, inescapable fact. What's that? You're weak. Since the very beginning, from the moment you bumbled onto that shard, had the delusion to call yourself a company, you never had a chance. But why? You have a valuable product, capital, smarts, and yet you all fail so utterly and completely. Why? Because you never had the spine to start a real company. You can't stomach the violence of the business world. No iron ovaries. What hope could you have to compete in the big leagues? <laughs> business lesson one. Your weakness provides me with a competitive advantage. Now, allow me to show you what we call aggressive restructuring. Give it a minute. Congratulations, Dr. Dar. You were right. Your invention has changed the world. They're all... dead. Not all. Some are just mortally wounded. But yes, they'll all die quite soon. Ooh, let's check on them. Breaking news now. They're calling it the Harm Ray. A mysterious blast that's hit our planet, causing Prometheans to die everywhere. more so than usual. Others, ooh, like this reporter, endure excruciating pain before the sweet, sweet release of death. Huh. I suppose there's one way you can still say them. The healing shard in that ticker of yours. You can't cut that thing out of her, even if you wanted to. True, I can't get it out of you for my weapon, so I'll just have you in my weapon. Mm -hmm. Never! No, I don't think she wants that either. She's right. It's my fault! We don't let her do this. We can't let Susan win. There's got to be another way. Hunt in that big brain of yours. Don't give her what she wants. I don't know this techno-computer stuff, but that sparking core doesn't look healthy. Will the weapons core incinerate you? Yes. But think of it as your generous donation toward the healing of Promethea. The whose life is worth more, yours or an entire planet. Fulfill your promise. Allow yourself to merge. Reunite my other half in your body. You can defy those who resist. Uh, 
I can absorb the other shot in the device. A power well earned. You and I have communed deeply. What will happen to me? Our combined consciousness will overwhelm your corporeal form. A personality known as Anu will crumble, as well as anything anyone would call your humanity. Total death of the individual. But with that incredible power, you'll restore the planet, destroy the egomaniac, end the pointless corporate war, and eradicate violence for good. I believe that is what your soul has always wanted. Anu, don't talk. Just listen. I know that Shard's got crazy magical healing and the ultimate power to stop Susan, but just... just this giant weapon is modeled after your device, right? If anyone can find a weak spot, it's you. You've got your engineering smarts. I've got street smarts. We could destroy the device together. We can figure out something, right? Right? What about healing Promethea? Anu, you don't have to take on the suffering of the universe! You can trade it for a few more moments on the spaceship! I don't want to lose you to that... thing! You know what should be done. Forget the shoulds. Your life affects our life. <laughs> <laughs> yes! The nerd is dead! The nerd is dead! <laughs> A little joke on my part to keep you on your toes. Forget the shoulds. Your life affects our life. I do want to help people. And it starts with the people in front of me. <clears throat> No exposed isotopic leaks. <laughs> Just like my own device. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to radiation efficiency. On you! Yeah, right. Uh, we can't just brute force an overload. We could... We could... You have a friend in range. What's that? That? <laughs> That's just my state-of-the-art Echo Dex. Think it could be useful? My Echo Dex? How did you get that? I swiped it. Maybe I should return it, since I'm not supposed to steal. Alright. Stealing can be good. I was wrong. <laughs> to her what? I'm sorry, I need you to repeat that. I... was wrong. You have a friend in range. Of course. All TDR weapons are friended on the TDR registry. What? No! TDR registry? That's not a thing. I, I don't see a friend code. Knowing Susan, she made it as hard to find as possible. Stop meddling, you insolent! Ah! Yes, you're not so tough without your Echo Dexy mix. Echo Dex! The code's here somewhere! <laughs> oh, if only I could reach my go goggles! Activate! Maybe I don't feel like it. You don't feel like it? You've been saucy all night. Zoom, enhance, zoom, enhance. Now you shout at me and expect. Don't worry, sis, I got this. Manual power activated. Did you have to throw it at my face so hard? I hit it, didn't I? Zoom straight to quantum view. Affirmative. So saucy. I'm not saucy! Oh, friend good, friend good. Where's the friend good? Let me guess. 
enhance those symbols. Yep. So saucy. Octavio, I've got the code. Think about what you are doing. Are you ready? Ready. Enter these symbols exactly as I say them. Taco. Taco. Uh, taco. 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 Three tacos. Yep. Uh, and and the fourth symbol is uh, taco. Yeah, it's taco. My kind of code. And doomsday weapon friend, and it worked. She's non-violent. Bad news, she doesn't know what to do with all that shard energy. All that work ruined! Worst news, she seems about to blow! Don't! turned her face into pizza. Yeah. Do you feel better now? Yeah. You good? I'm me again. Good. All right, you two. Let's get the shard and heal Promethea. Not so fast. Bop, bop, bop. I don't think so. Punch me once, as they say. What is she doing? I think she's... Curveball. Killing herself. Really? Sweet! <laughs> That's very big of you, Susan! You're doing the right thing! I'm not killing myself, you idiot! I'm doing what you couldn't. I'm sealing the deal to get what I want. I give them what they want. No! Not killing herself? Another successful merger. You've got nowhere to run now. Okay, she means business. I wasn't even here. Interference is no longer acceptable. So do we have a plan or not? Uh... No! We will destroy you, just like your insipid Frogurt shop. You haven't even tried my Frogurt! You love making the maniac marshmallow! Collision course with Prometheus. Impact approaching. Hot salted nuts. Impact? We don't want impact. No impact. I'll try to fix the trajectory. Cover me. With what? 
I need help. I'll take it. Help number, help number, help number, send! intergalactic super long distance. You will incur additional roaming charges of $9,785,000 per minute. Do you accept the charges? She sure does. Hello, thanks for calling TD or Hologram customer service. Yes! Please choose one of the following options. No! Please note that our items have changed. I didn't know what they were to begin with. Please wait while we load the choice items. No one can save you now. Product registration. Billing. Insurance claims. Faulty capacitors. Wrongful death. Animal diarrhea. Representative! It sounds like you want sedative. Why would I representative? Please hold. You will die as you live. Glued to your echo decks. catch that. Would you like to talk to a representative? Yes! Ah, yes! Your call is important to us. Please hold while I transfer you to a representative. Come on, give me something! How's that looking? Not great! This whole music is terrible! Thank you for calling TDO Hologram Customer Service. I see you on the TDO Flagship Battle Station. On a scale of one to five, how would you rate your experience? I need help! Please hold your Echo Decks in plain view of the wall scanner while standing on the appropriate floor pad. And I'll initiate the remote reboot. It seems that your wall scanner and flow pad set up are in a state of disarray for ancient cosmic ray damage reasons. You don't say. I can transfer you to the maintenance department. No, 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 no. I'll find a way to patch it up. Uh, can you find a way to fix that floor pad thingy on your side? I'll see what I can do. Make sure to keep that IT guy on the line. We're troubleshooting that on our side. Please hold. Your call is very important to us. So? 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 Now's your chance, F-Dog! Let her rip! 
Never call me F-Dog. Am I here? You cannot stop. <laughs> I think you got stopped. Chocolate chunk! But that's not fair! The healing sword! She regenerates whatever we hit her with! So this cycle melts people and she's invulnerable? Traitor. Insignificant. Okay, we can't kill her, so what? We wait till she takes a vacation? That's it? Uh, mm. We send her on vacation. This ship is sporting a gigantic version of your device, right? Of course. The amplifier is functional. The circuits are still intact. Octavio, you're a genius! Embrace annihilation. We just need Susan held in the chamber. Fred, we're sending Susan on vacation. Leave it to me. All we need now is a power supply of Iridium. Oh, that's all? Leave that to me. I'll find something. I'll calibrate and fire once everything is... For Froyo. Okay, then. Looking forward to hearing what your screams sound like, Suzette. Oh, dude. Survey! Decline! I need iridium. All I have to do is destroy my sweet, premium, VIP, CEO, status affirming, Equidex. Hawk, how's it going with that iridium? Hawk, we need that iridium! Yeah. Yeah, I found some. Say hi to Louie for me. Goodbye, old friend. I'll meet you in that big conference call in the sky. Uh! This enough? Barely enough for one shot. Better make a count. Have a nice trip. See you next trip. It's have a nice trip. See you next fall. And that's only when... Don't ruin this for me. That's not... That's not... Oh, 
Better to die with family than to live alone. Oh, you got to so get me right here. Thank you. For everything. It's one badass way to go down. I'm sorry I won't be able to pay a severance. One happy super alien, or whatever. That's a job well done in my book. Yeah. <laughs> and we save the world, maybe the entire galaxy in the process. Not bad. And no one will ever know it was us. That's pretty badass. Totally badass. Well, you can tell Barney that he can go screw himself! The cat commits to paying a 10 session package, they're not gonna see any progress. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, want to hear my counter offer? I slit his throat with a plasma knife and he bleeds like a rat in the sand! Uh, 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 that's him bleeding out! How was that? Perfect! Really? Totally! You got personal, answered questions with questions, and you got louder the more you talked. I imagine them naked too. Not necessary, but great. <laughs> uh, keep this up and Octavio Anu Sibling Consulting will be the number one company for all sibling relationship therapy in the Northeast Meridian City area. It's actually Anu Octavio Sibling Consulting. <laughs> That's a mistake on the sign. We're getting it reprinted. And no, we're not. Anu Octavio just doesn't roll off the tongue. Are you serious? We're almost out of daylight. Are we going or what? Changing the subject. Very clever.
This is PNN. Promethea, one year later. Today is a somber day for Meridian City as we reflect on the destruction done by the TBOR Corporation. Though Susan Coldwell's death was confirmed, details surrounding the crash landing of her ship remain a mystery. Famous entrepreneur turned conspiracy theorist, Bivington Bradwick claims Promethea was saved by, get a load of this, a healing spirit. He even claims the explosion shot remnants of the spirit into the sky, leaving a green cosmic trail. <laughs> healing spirit? Green cosmic trail? Okay, Bivington, I think someone's done one too many hits from the Belcher. Most citizens, however, have opted to get on with the most important business there is, the business of living. Feels quiet without her around. Yeah, it's great. Grating, the silence, it's just so silent that it's loud and grating on the ears. You know what I mean? Yeah. Really weird how Will insisted that unpaid sexy intern join her in the afterlife, though. May heaven be one big orgy. One big sweaty orgy. It was all your fault. I'm gonna haunt your ass forever. Your ass is so Haunted. Okay, that's just tasteless. True, but Fran would have loved it. She's right. I love it. <laughs> Come here. Give me my Agodex! Hey! No! Violence! It's wrong to steal, remember? Your face is wrong. We're going to the same place. Destroying a doomsday weapon, freeing a cosmic demigod, and toppling a major corporation? Not bad for three nobodies. And a robot. After that, Promethea returned to business as usual. Corporate squabbles, casual murders, holidays with the family. So, any idea where the shard is heading? Not a clue. No one's made any sense of its trail. Hmm. It's funny. This Anu and Octavio. Two siblings who hadn't spoken in years, but ultimately risked their lives for each other. Two halves of a whole. That resonates with you? Oh, yeah. That's the key to this whole thing, isn't it? Uh, wait. What are you saying? I'm saying no one's looked at the bigger picture. It's headed into the Gladius Nebula! Great find, Fiona! And she's gone. 
And she took my wallet? Good. 